Oh, you're on the air. Threatened, I felt unwelcome, and it was a death. And so then I went to my pastor and I was like, what's going on? He's like, oh, you know. But I do have something that's just bumped. So I've always had a lot of things happen to me all my life. So I'm gonna. Hello, everybody. We are back. Welcome to another episode of the Calls from Beyond live call-in show. I am your host, Austin Alvarez from Bizarre Junkies. We have our lovely co-host, Noah, from the Black Cauldron. Noah, how you been this week? Good. How are you? Um, it, The day started off a little rough. I'm not going to lie. Mm-hmm. Um, thank, thankfully to my, uh, and Shy will agree with me on this, my knight in shining armor, George, um, I was able to get to work today. <laughs> yes. My car, um, and George was roasting me right before, right before we went on. Yeah. I do work on my car. Okay, okay, on all my cars because it's cheaper, and I, right. I I think it's a good skill to have. Yes, it is. So I've been having like a, a fuel injector problem. So on su- and George is already I can already see he's already smirking at me because he's like oh, this fucking guy. <laughs> on Sunday I was having uh, or I changed out my fuel injectors. I replaced them completely. It's actually it wasn't that hard. It was two bolts. Yeah. You take the manifold off. You put them back in. Boom. Right. So apparently when I did it I broke the clip on the fuel line which is how oh, gas no. gets to your engine oh okay so. so this morning I'm driving to go pick up Trey one of our other uh, employees here and my car just like just stops like yeah. I'm pushing on the gas and it's like it's almost like I'm pushing on the brake yeah yeah I managed to pull into a, uh, a Circle K gas station oh, that's and nice. park on the side <laughs> and uh, thankfully I was able to get a tow truck but George thankfully saved the day and uh there's just some things you need to leave to professionals, honestly. Like <laughs> he said, on. he said, I need to fix my fuel injector. At what, like, <laughs> and you know what I'm going to do tomorrow, George? You're I'm going him. To, you I'm are going him. to replace my spark plugs and my coil packs because that's the next Period. problem I got to fix. Tenacity. So, yeah, it is. I mean, that's a real man. What's behind these cameras today is not. <laughs> so it, it ended up, I ended up having to get it to a repair shop and they called me about an hour ago and they were like, hey, so we ended up finding the problem. It was just this clip. Um, we replaced it for you. Uh, just come pick it up tonight. And I was like, how much is it? And they're like, yeah, just come pick it up tonight. Oh, see, look. I was like, okay. Because it's probably like an look. $8 part, realistically. Yeah. And yeah. my dad goes there all the time. So they so know that. The family hookup. They and... know they're getting their money's worth out of yeah. my dad and his lemon mm-hmm. of a truck. Um, but so, yeah. So that's how it started. So I got to go pick that up. But then they told me, yeah, you need to change your spark plugs. And I was like, okay, cool. Now I, I can. So do you go to like YouTube University to do it? Sometimes. I, yeah. I go on YouTube for everything. I like... go on YouTube just to see like where the thing is and then just how mm-hmm. to get to it because like I, on my old truck i've changed the radiator i've changed the fuel pump mm-hmm. i've done stuff like and george is like you could do that he's smart no, he's I, literally I just, <laughs> listen there's car people for a reason all right that he's I, a car person at this point i trust you with my fuel injectors yeah no i called him austin <laughs> car mechanic alvarez okay. <laughs> that is uh that is i but so your week has been doing pretty good your youtube yeah. has been it's been crushing it and i'm really yeah. really happy for you Thank y'all. Like it, it's so weird. It's like one week I'll get like a little views, and then boom, it's just one video that sends everybody over. And I guess today, because you're the one who told me like yeah. your video is doing really well, and I'm like, what At video? I'm half in the morning. Sleep. I'm like, what video? And they're, it was the mer. They like the mermaid. They do, George. Let me give you some background. And I think I, t- I think I told you this morning, but this morning before I left, um, and before the inevitable car breakdown happened mm-hmm. i looked and i was like oh she posted a video it's at 70 views in the first two minutes okay mm-hmm. 
as I'm sitting waiting for George to get there, I look at YouTube and I was like, holy shit, 8,000 in the <laughs> yeah. first hour. And I texted her. I was like, girl, you're crushing it. And she was like, I just woke up. What? <laughs> right. I'm like, oh, wait, what did I do? And then I remember I, if you are a member on my channel, you get access to my content a day early. So I set it to premiere at 7 a.m. our time this yep. morning. And yeah, apparently it's the resident villain that they love, the mermaid. Yeah. You know? uh, Yasmin in your chat says, I helped my ex change his alternator with a butter knife. What the fuck? <laughs> like, tools are not that expensive. Listen, he did he do it? He did uh, it? Par apparently, Yasmin helped. A butter knife is pretty nuts. That though. is, yeah. like, I. That's MacGyver. I have, I have tools, okay? Screwdrivers are not that expensive. Harbor uh, Freight. And we're not we're not judging, but no, was, like, hey, was you your boyfriend once in prison? And like, cause like that sounds like just like figuring it out. Like, listen, what by any means necessary. Oh, I screw stuff with a butter knife sometimes. I mean, like, yeah. I have a whole toolbox, but a butter knife. Like, is if just you're easier. right there in the kitchen, but like you're not gonna be like, oh, I gotta work on my car. Let me go to the kitchen real quick. Oh no, you know, black people we I, make it happen. I guess if that's all you got and you make it happen, like <laughs> steak it knives are for you. like the the super small screws. The super small ones. Yeah, you need yeah. the steak knife point. I get it. We had it. we never ever had a toolbox for real for real when I was growing up. Oh we yeah, thankfully my dad knives. was a dad. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it was like I got to and I still use them. So listen, I wasn't touching my daddy's tools. I go get that steak knife. And hey, hey, it works. <laughs> it works. The butter knife, steak knife, it works. It works. Mm -hmm. So, um, welcome everybody to the Calls from Beyond show. If this is your first time, this is where you get to call in and tell us your stories, and we just sit back and listen to you, and we let you kind of have the show. Excuse me. There are some rules. The call to call in is completely free. You can use this number right down below. It's in the description of both our videos. It's also on the screen. It is Zoom, so you have to call in and then give us the access code, which is that extension right there. It is a long number, I know. But you can call in for absolutely free. Um, and I think, George, did we update the amount of time we're giving people just off the rip? Yes. Because we found that three minutes was kind of short. Like, yeah. we were cutting people off. And I don't like cutting people off. But we also, you know, we've already got three people in the queue since we've even started. Mm -hmm. um, so I want to make sure that we can get to everybody. But so we're going to move it back up to five minutes. Okay. And um, I think we're only going to do the initial $10 super chat to skip the line. So you can skip the line for $10. Uh, and you get your full five minutes and you get to skip the line. What we ask is if you super chat to either the Black Cauldron or Bizarre Junkies, you leave the last four of your phone number just so our lovely Cuban back there, George, knows mm -hmm. who he's who he's helping. Yes. Yeah. Who he's I helping. Need, I need the numbers. He needs the numbers. But I do have a really big... Well, first of all, RPG Elixir is um, a good friend of mine. He just super chatted $20. But oh, he's live right you. now actually on TikTok. Oh, that's He's amazing. actually one of the first people I've seen besides you. Mm -hmm. you but he, you do lives on TikTok like you're just talking to the camera. Mm -hmm. He does it like a gaming setup. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But, Gamers so, do very well on TikTok. Thank you. Um, I'm not going to say your real name. I won't dox you, but thank, thank you. you. I, he's going to be on the show here pretty soon. Oh, okay. Awesome. So I'm going to have him on the reaction show and I'm going to give him some medieval, medieval videos. But thank you so much, RPG Elixir, for that $20 super chat. I do have a big announcement though, and I'm super excited to unveil this. And we just did this a few hours ago, mm -hmm. but we officially have a calls from beyond merch we store sure do. as of right now. And I'm going to post the link in my chat and um, I'm going to post it in Noah's chat. There is a 15% off sale right now, just because we just opened the shop. So 15% off of everything. Mm -hmm. So please check that out. It supports the show. It's going to help us pay uh, for George's. Um, I don't know. George, what are you saving up for? I'm saving up currently for a nice toaster. I okay. needed I need a high end toaster. People have been going to the air fryer, but I, this toaster does everything. Like so, um, it's okay. on Amazon right now. That's but. adulting. Whenever you want appliances, I'm saving up for something too, and I'm almost at my goal. I am. Uh, I'm just saving up to make it to Tuesday. Okay, you know um, how it is. Yeah, absolutely. I'm trying to buy a wet dry mop. Oh, oh, that's a good purchase. Mm. That's yep, a good I have purchase. No carpet. No carpet at all. And that's so. probably for the best, right? Yeah. It makes is. it easy. Saves me on my energy cost and the crying whenever Tootie wastes something. So, yes. Hey, what are you going to do? So, yeah, I posted the link there. I think uh, Mr. Fresh is going to have to post it as well. I'll have to send it to him. Yeah. But uh, are we having some technical difficulties? Because I'm not connected. Ooh. Oh, there he goes. It's coming back. Coming back. Coming back. <laughs> Our Wi Fi is a little rough here lately. It's mm -hmm. been uh it's been acting up. It's so. the cell signals. It's the cell signals. It's that AT T drop we had. Oh. So uh <laughs> before we get started, I, I just wanted to shout out uh and say hey to Matthew in my chat. He's always in, he's always commenting. Yes. Uh he said 
Uh, what did he say? He said, um, of mermaids I scare it. me. That too. He said, Bizarre Junkies, can you say hi? It would mean the world to me. So I'm glad I can make your world. Yeah. Special shout out to my member, Yasmin, yes. who is in the chat and who ex or boyfriend apparently changes alternators with butter knives. Hey, girl. Hey. <laughs> Thank you for coming back. Hey. Hey, I can't be mad at you. All right. Mm-hmm. Game is game. Okay. Right. Period. I'm jealous. <laughs> maybe you know what, Yasmin. Maybe you should help George. I do I help, need help George, and George has a Ford. Like they're not hard to work on either. Mm-hmm. Sure. So yeah, I'd take your word for it, man. So I, I do see we Easy have car. a lot of callers in. Um, George, I guess uh, do we is is there some is Shabli in this chat? Is Shabli here? Because I left. I have a, a yeah. person that I do want to share a story with, but I don't know if she's in here. If you can leave those last four digits, yes. we, we will yes, definitely be expediting your call. This yes. one's a n- crazy one, people. A mm-hmm. crazy one for yeah. Friday night here at Bizarre Junkies. But mm-hmm. I do have our first caller. The lucky caller's last four digits are going to be 3922. 3922. It'll be star six to unmute yes. yourself once you enter the room. 3922. Caller, you are in the room. Hello. <laughs> Hello. Hello. Hi, you guys. How you guys doing? I'm good. How are you? Good. How are you? I'm doing pretty good. I'm doing pretty good. Um, I watch you guys all the time. Thank um, you. I go by Breeze the Goddess in the oh, chat. Yes. <laughs> hey, girl. Hey. Everybody always call me Bree X, but <laughs> hey. That's a cool name, too, though. <laughs> um. Yes, thank you. It is a lot of meaning to it. Um, it's from when I changed my name. Gotcha. You know, like Michael Max. Um, <laughs> I heard but that. What I was going to get to, right? So this is a crazy story, and a lot of people really do not be believing my story, but I got my receipt. So Okay, period. <laughs> this is what happened. This is what happened. So there was a little girl here. In Sa- I live in Sacramento. Okay. Here in Sacramento that came up missing. She came up missing, right? Mm-hmm. Um, I think she came out missing like October 14th or something. This was just last year. Mm-hmm. Um, and she was missing for like five days. And my friend, I don't know if you ever got your hair done by her, but she's like known here. Mm-hmm. Um, her business was called Girlfriend Hooked Me Up. She's like a braider. Mm-hmm. Um, and she's known out here in Sacramento, kind of. She moved recently, but she used to be out here. Um, and I, she knew me and I do tarot reading and Mm-hmm. And all that type of stuff, but I'm really a spiritualist, and um, I've had like gifts since I was a kid, being a medium and stuff like that. Stuff I didn't ask for. I really right. didn't ask for this. Right. A lot of people don't understand that. Yeah. You know, yeah. people think we just want to claim to be things we don't want to be. No. But the people who really got these gifts, it's, it, mm-hmm. it, it feels like a burden until we get used to it. So just yes. so people understand. Mm-hmm. So um, this is my friend, and she's friends with the girl's mom that came up. Missing. I'm not trying to blast everybody, but the girl, she was all over Facebook. We were like sharing her. Her name mm-hmm. was um, Kaori Robinson. Okay. She was missing. Um, and so my friend reached out to me and she was just like, you know, the mother doesn't really believe in this stuff, but we can't find the little girl. We don't know if she's okay. She's been missing for five days. Can you do a reading on her? Mm-hmm. And so she sent me the girl's picture and I went and looked at her. Before I ever even pulled any cards, I just looked at her. I heard water like um you know when you do your spiritual work with the elements you mm-hmm. start to be able to differentiate between a stream a river a yes. creek uh, ocean, uh, or, or, or right you can hear the difference so first thing i heard was like a creek um and then and she didn't give me any information she just gave me the girl's birthday and her name mm-hmm. um and so i went to go look her up just like, I can't even explain how I went to go look her up because I didn't leave anywhere. I just, mm-hmm. like, I can't explain it. So I heard the river and the creek. That's the first thing I told her that I heard. After that, I told her I'm about to pull these cards. Mm-hmm. When I pulled the cards, for some reason, they kind of distracted me a little bit um, because I guess the gift I was using didn't need no cards. And, and I was trying to make sense of what I was hearing. I didn't want to just give them any old information, but this is just how it was coming to me. Mm-hmm. And... um she was asking me, like, you know, um, can you tell if she's okay? I'm, like, feeling her pulse. I'm, like, she's okay. She's definitely nervous. 
I don't know why I feel like she's nervous of you guys finding her, though. Like, not like she's right. in harm or anything. Um, maybe she snuck off, you know, somewhere with somebody she wasn't supposed to. But she's okay. Um, but I'm like, she's over by a creek. I feel like if you walk in the direction of a creek, you're going to find her. I do the reading. Um, I give her all the details of the cards, which is, you know, the little girl business. But the the main thing I just kept feeling drawn back to telling her is just you guys, you just need to be headed towards that creek. That's just where you're going to find her. And I, I guess it was within like an hour, hour and a half. They had me stressed out, y'all. Like nobody <laughs> told me they found her. Nobody told me they found her. So I'm just thinking, I don't know what they did with this information, if it was even helpful. Mm-hmm. Um, but, I, you know, she was like, okay, I'm going to tell them to go look by the creek. Mm-hmm. They went by the creek and they found that little girl just walking in the direction. Someone, I guess, knew that everybody was in the area looking for her and just let them know, like, she's okay, she's with me. But she was really by that creek. Wow. And I really heard her environment. I could really feel, like, her pulse. I could feel her body energy. If she was anxious, I can't even explain how I did that. I just looked at the girl picture. Mm-hmm. Her name and all that really didn't matter because I'm looking at spirit. Right. So it's like, yeah, I got your name and your birthday, but it was really just her picture. Um, and I found the little girl. She tells me hours later, she's like, thank you so much for your help. Now, mind you, I didn't get any recognition for this, and I didn't really ask for any recognition for this. And I'm not looking for it on here. It just I've seen other people in the comments when you posted that video about the psychic yeah. um, saying yep. that they got a similar gift, and I've never heard of anybody else that could do what I did. And that was my first and only time I've done that yes. so far. Um, so I found the little girl that ended up finding her, and when she told me, she was like, no, as soon as she told us to walk by the creek, Someone came forward, but we really found her near the creek, and she sent me the address of where the girl was supposed to be, and nearby really was a creek, and she was just telling me how they put it all together from what I told them, and I was wow. just like, okay, that's crazy, that's crazy, so, but you know what, when I say we don't really want these gifts, but like, we're we're just trying to navigate them, we're trying to mm-hmm. learn them, they're, they're kind of a burden to us too, so I tell people what happened with the little girl, they encourage me to go help other people. Yeah. I don't ask for no money or nothing. I I don't believe in that. I know that if you make a profession, I don't knock nobody, but me just being so new, there's no guarantees. and right. I don't be wanting. And when it comes to sensitive stuff like that, when it no, comes to babies, doing, you know. You're doing the right thing. You need to sharpen and hone in on your skill before you tr- start charging or doing anything. You know, um, this could have just been a one-time thing. Who knows? But it is a, a gift and a curse, especially whenever it's new and you haven't really figured it out yet. But I thank you for calling in. Yes, that thank you amazing. for your call. I love my Sacramento people. Yeah, definitely. People. I just, yeah, I just, um, if anybody out there, if you ever see me in the comments, please the goddess, I just want to link up with other people who are going through this because I have reached out to people like, you know, that I knew had missing family members. Like, I want to help you find your family member. Can you, you know, consent for me to look for them? Can you help me look for them if you really want somebody to find them? And people just told me, like, oh, it sounds like a scammer. It mm-hmm. sounds like this. And I'm like, you know, I don't want nothing. Yeah. I don't need nothing from y'all. I'm just trying to see if this could be used to help people. Right. Because I help this, this family over here. And I want to know if it can. And I'm not trying to experiment with you. I just, you know, I, I don't know unless I have to do it. And it was the pressure of needing to find her that I feel like made it happen. If yeah. that makes sense. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. I might have never known until yep. I felt like, oh my God, this is on me. This is on me. Yep. You know? Yeah. Thank you, Carla. So, we we appreciate story, you yeah. reaching out. Yep. Absolutely. And Our, if anyone in the comments need any help in that area, reach out to her. Thank you again. I appreciate it. Yes, thank it. you. Um, guys, I've I've been dreading this moment. Uh oh. Okay. This is the first time. And trust me, I'm I've cognizant of the numbers that join the call okay i've been looking for a number that has 666 mm-hmm. and this we is the it. first time it's ever happened that mm-hmm. we have a number that has 666 consecutive so i just have to yeah absolutely our next caller is I, five yeah. six 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 <laughs> Wait, five six six six, six, six. okay Five six six, and six. I will pay you for your phone number. By the way, no, I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> thank yeah. you to Yasmin while we're waiting for this next caller. A twenty dollars yes. super chat from Yasmin. So Aww, Yasmin, if you want to call you, in, Yasmin. give us your last four. Again, Shabli, if you are in the chat, please let me know. My chat totally froze up, and even the little yeah, I'll, been... I'll I'll try to help you real I'm quick. I'm gonna I'll I'll bring a we'll get it hardwired. 
Is it still there? Oh, I think we only have one. Yeah, we only have one, but it's it's there. Gotcha. Five six 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 star six to unmute yourself. Caller, you are in the room. If you Hello, can mute, your, you doing? if you Hello. can mute your TV for us as well, that'd be great. Thank you. Um, my name is Judy Combs. I'm from Miami, Florida, and I'm a Haitian, and I have a lot of stories, but I could start off with just one. Okay. Um, being from Miami, you know, it's just like Haiti. Mm -hmm. <laughs> they yeah. do a lot of, you know, root, root, voodoo and everything like that, but yeah. I'm going to go by the story when yeah. I was 11 years old. Um, I was taking my little brother to the daycare, which is another Haitian lady, you know, who used to watch the, watch us. And we was on our way to school. And as I took him into the house, she told me to take my brother into the room, into the house, and I did. And then when I came out of the room, she was not there. So I continued to walk out the door, and then she was standing right there. And she went around me and around in a circle three times. And then she turned into a gray cat. <laughs> Wait a minute, and, that escalated a little and then, <laughs> that Yes, escalated. it happened just like that, fast like that. Oh, just wow. like that, fast like that. Wow. So that's it's and considered was, Lugao, right? Yes. Mm -hmm. Yes, that's a Lugao. Mm -hmm. So I looked and I was there and I was so confused, like, whoa, hold up, what is going on? So she continued to run and jump the gate as the cat. So I walked to my mother. I hurry up and ran home because we lived like a few doors down. Mm -hmm. And I was like in Creole, hey, mom, do people turn into cats? <laughs> and she was like, wait, where did you see this at? And right. I told her, exactly. And then so she went over there. We could not find the lady. So she took my brother. And then three days later, my mother had a dream that the lady turned me into a mouse and she turned into a big cat. And then. She tried to, you know, right. take me, like, you know, sacrifice me. And then when my mother, then she came to claim her, her stake, which was me, and she came through one door, I was so sick. Like, I was so sick, I was starting to smell, like death. So as she proceeded to come in, she said, oh, I just came to check on the child. She, ne she never considered me as my name. She said the child. And then my mother was like, oh, there's no meat for you here because I know what you did. I dreamed about it. This Period. child is special. You can't have her. Mm -hmm. Period. And so as she continued to walk through the other door, my mama said, no, 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 no. Come mm -hmm. go back through the door that you came from. Because, you know, in our culture, if they come in through one door mm -hmm. with bad intentions and they leave through another door, the, the person that they tried to sacrifice is considered dead mm -hmm. immediately. Yes, I've so, heard that before. So after she left through the same door she walked in, well, before she left, I started to get sick, and I ended up throwing up on her foot. And, I, and then after I threw up on her foot, I just mm -hmm. got up and started running around like it wasn't nothing. And my mother asked her to leave, and she never came back. Ooh. Man, them Haitian stories be... <laughs> Maybe the truth. Yeah. Everybody is not lying. And then you hear stories like this. And I, you know, I talk extensively about Haiti. And mm -hmm. it is crazy. Oh, my God. Miami is the new Haiti, honey. <laughs> I heard. No, I was speaking with a mutual minds on TikTok. And she was like, Miami is like little Haiti, which you guys have a segment in the city called Little yeah. Haiti. So all of the spirituality yes, and things that go on in Haiti is in Miami. <laughs> so I believe it. But yes. thank you so much. That yes. was amazing. Thank yeah. you. You have a wonderful day. Thank you, you as thank well. Thank you. Yeah, I knew it was going to be fire. Yeah. <laughs> I knew that. <laughs> that's why your number got selected. Yep. That's that's it. Interesting phone numbers. Boom. Uh, do you want to go grab the adapter real quick? Yeah. yeah. Sorry, y'all. We're going through some technical yeah, difficulties. She's, uh, I can't see any of the chat. I'm about to get on I'm, my phone. Yeah, I'm looking at it right now. But so while we're waiting, though, I found a new app. Oh, did you? Girl, I found this <laughs> last night, and I'm it's I'm not even not even sponsored yet. Um, I might reach out to them, but it's called Enigma. Mm -hmm. And look how cool this is a UFO site app. Ooh. People like put their put their like 
you, and it has like a map, like it has a map of like my area and it shows you all these sightings. Uh, really? Yeah. It's super cool. I found it like Facebook ad. Facebook well, you know, me. my next, one of my next videos is going to be on aliens for once. Aliens. Wow. Mm -hmm. Oh, George hand. Shy, <laughs> shy. Don't look. <laughs> um, yeah, I don't want to give away too, too much. Okay. But, um, there, and you probably heard about it, but we're going to talk about aliens in an upcoming, mm -hmm. um, which y'all know that's not even, I mean, I like to talk about aliens, but I'm more of the spiritual ghost type yeah. of girly, you know? But Aliens are fun, though. Mm -hmm. Yeah, no, they are. They really are. And they've warned us several times that we were going to fuck around and find out if we didn't take care of the earth and look at our stupid yeah. asses now. Here's the thing. If you, like, obviously, we there have been alien sightings for a good while. Um, we have evidence of it. Sorry, y'all. We're live. This is this is entertainment, ladies and gentlemen, at its <laughs> rawest form. Right, gotta have the uh, the tech. Yes. So, um, I totally lost my, my train of thought. Oh, so if you look at like the history of UFO sightings, especially in the United States, mm -hmm. it really popped off when we started doing nuclear testing. Absolutely. Yeah. And they were warning us back in what ninety four. Mm hmm. Like, hey, you guys are fucking up. Do better. Do good, be good, because this is not it. Y'all y'all planet is about to go to the shitter. And here we are. Yep. Here we are. I like to think they are, they, ever since then, they were like, oh, hold on. These people are crazy, and they're monitoring us now. Yes. So I'm absolutely. like, a, yeah. Yep. They're like, oh. And now on my phone, it's saying that it's, um, can't wait for the alien podcast, period. It's... Not it hating me. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, We're gonna let go the next for the caller next in. Caller. Seven seven two three. Star six to unmute. Seven seven two three. Yeah. For anybody asking, the app is called Enigma. E N I G M A. And apparently, there's one that just popped up just now. Nine Enigmas is what they're called, or what the, this is saying. Yeah, I'm it's about to crazy. download it. If I could, if I had the computer in front of me, I would have bended it. That's cool though, because. I mean, how many are around us? A lot. <laughs> right? Literally like a mile from us, there's one that just popped up. Damn. Well, we are around the corner from... Oh, no. Area. Okay. No, no, no. 723. No. Star 6 to unmute yourself. Star 6. Caller, you're in the room. Hello. Hello. Hi. Can you mute your TV for us, please? Yes, can you mute the TV, Haley? <laughs> <laughs> hey there. Hey, hey, Noah. <laughs> How are you? I'm okay. Thank you so much for calling. I'm sorry for all the technical difficulty in the wait. Uh oh. Hello. Yeah, can hello. Us? Can you hear us? Yes, I can hear you. Okay. So, um, my name is. Isis, and I'm calling from Chicago, Illinois. Hey, shy town Yeah. <laughs> I'm an Aries just like you. Yeah. And I'm, I've been very, um, I had gifts since I was basically like seven, um, six years old, ever since I can remember. Um, I would go into sleep paralyzation mm -hmm. and have like the weirdest nightmares you can imagine. But mm -hmm. over the last like three years, I have embraced my gift and started astro projecting mm -hmm. and things like that. Um, but this story that I just want to tell is regarding the experience that I had when I was pregnant with my daughter. Um, I went to sleep. I had a friend who had lost uh, his best friend that I never met. And um, she was, uh, she was killed like um, a violent, violent crime. And I never met her before, never seen her face, never met her. But at the time, I'm pregnant with my daughter. Um, I'm about seven, eight months pregnant or so. And you know, when you're pregnant, like, you have it really bad. Like, you have it even worse <laughs> with the sleep yes. <laughs> paralyzation yes, when you're you pregnant. So, so I'm just, like, you know, laying in my bed, and all of a sudden, like, I can't move. But then, like, um, he's in the living room, and I guess he's on a couch probably watching TV, I had dozed off, so I'm kind of like half woke, half sleep. I can't move. I go into sleep paralyzation. And I literally see um, who I found out was his friend who passed away. She walked past my bedroom, 
and walked like right into the living room where he was at. And then she walked back past and then mm-hmm. she gave like a wave. So when I got out of that stage, I told him, I said, you know, I think, um, I'm not going to say any names, but I was like, you know, I'm going to call her S. I think S was uh, was here um, maybe just like an hour or so. And he like, what? I'm mm-hmm. like, yeah, I think I saw her. He's like, but you never met her. And I'm like, but right. I saw her. So when I described him, I described her to the T to him. He's like, yeah, he's like, that was her. I said, I think that she just came to, you know, just tell you that she's okay. Like, I think that's what she wanted me to tell him. Like, she's okay. She wanted mm-hmm. to visit him one last time yeah. and let him know that she was good. Yeah, and, and you were the sensitive one out of the two. When I described him, he was like, what? <laughs> yeah. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, it's and when you're pregnant, you know, I've gone through three pregnancies, and I was dreaming the most weirdest shit ever. Like, I told you the last Man, time. Man, it's crazy. Them dreams be dreaming. I'm like, am I dreaming for two? <laughs> I know I'm eating for two, but am I dreaming for two? I dreamed yes. I gave birth to a blue wooden snake which was super weird. So, Whoa. and then my sleep paralysis Whoa. was out of control. So I definitely. Yes, mine was unbearable, especially mm-hmm. with my daughter. I have two kids. So with my son, it was bad too, but not, it's like they almost wanted my daughter. Like it yeah. was so weird. Like I would have it almost my whole pregnancy with her. Yeah, it it's, that's the same. I feel like girl and boy pregnancies have different spiritual, you know, kind yeah. of energy whenever it comes down to it because I feel like my dreams were wild with my daughters or my daughter and not yeah, definitely. as bad with my sons you know but they well, still was daughter, off the chain. Like, would you say would you say your daughter is like a spiritualist or is she gifted too because my daughter is very gifted like she has gifts too so I don't know maybe that was the reason too that I had it yes. really bad with her for sure my daughter was born um nearly dead and wow. she has no veil. Oh, wow. Where I feel oh, like wow. it's gotten it better. Yeah, I feel like it's gotten better now that I'm a spiritualist and I'm able to kind of put that barrier between my you know, my daughter and the spiritual realm. But she is very spiritual. She's very gifted and has scared the shit out of me on more than one occasion because I can't see what she can see, you know. But the older wow. she's getting, I feel like, Ancestor spirit guides are kind of protecting her from um, certain things. And whenever she's ready, she'll be able to kind of sharpen and hone in on her skills. For sure. Wow. Mm -hmm. She's 11, so she got some time to go. My daughter is 12. Yeah, my daughter is 12. Like, we're like the same age, and my daughter is Mm -hmm. a year older than your daughter. Yep. Well, thank you so much for yes, sharing thank that. thank you for your call. It. We appreciate thank the call. Thank you. I love you guys. I love the show. Oh, Please keep it going. You. Me and my daughter watch it every Friday. Oh, oh. We appreciate you guys. Hey, daughter. I appreciate y'all. Love y'all <laughs> down. Thank you so much. Uh, so, George, the super chat, we do have the phone number four. Nine, eight, one, four. Yep. I'm one step ahead he, of George you. Is, this is why George steps. is the GOAT. <laughs> hey, I just want to, everyone in the chat to know I'm seven steps forward, five steps sideways, and two steps backwards. Where yeah. am I at? I know. Do we have that reel? Can wait, we play wait, that say reel? Say that again. That you we made yesterday that went viral. Uh, I'm gonna be honest. That was wait. Off what's the, cuff. the what's the oh yes? Because yeah, I haven't. Yeah, I'm terrible with. Can we Instagram, play that? Y'all. Or will we have we have so and so. We have Yasmin. Yeah, Yasmin. That's so and so. I apologize, Yasmin. Yasmin. I don't think she's in yet. Star six to unmute. You got to know once you super chat and you put your name in there, you may as well just unmute yourself because you are <laughs> well, coming. I don't think you can hot. until you get invited to you unmute. Can. Oh, I've I've tested. Hello. Oh, hello, hello there. Hey, it's Yasmin. How are you guys? Good. How are We're you? We're good, guys? Yasmin. How are you? Pretty good. Um, whoever needs some car help, I got you. I, can do that I definitely <laughs> need that. Yeah, I have a toolbox. And I had seriously taken it out because my luggage didn't fit. So I figured we don't need this. So I took it off. Smart. I don't blame you. Gotta keep it like you gotta keep it in the car. Like I always have like a I have the screwdriver that has like the flip head. Sorry, mm-hmm. I don't want to take up your time, but yeah, the flip head, and then you just keep that in your your center console and listen yeah yeah i've learned since then i've learned since then <laughs> well you're an og if you're <laughs> replacing alternators with butter knives okay like <laughs> i thought you youtube university and a flashlight yeah like, that's all you need i don't have any he over here listen, bougie bougie <laughs> he bougie that's all i'm talking about you need a you need one of them fancy macgyver oh Sweet. stop listen. Butter knives were just fine. Can we restart her yeah, time? Yeah, we'll restart her time. <laughs> Absolutely. No, no. 
Okay, so I just want to start by saying that I'm Puerto Rican and Dominican. Um, okay. I was raised Catholic, but my grandparents on my dad's side um, were Santeros. Um, okay. They believe in Santeria. So okay. when me and my um, oldest sister were about seven or eight, they sent us to Haiti. I'm mm -hmm. sorry, to DR for the summer. Right. So then my grandmother, who was Dominican, um, told us that we were going on a special trip. Um, but we, we also flew in with my godmother, who's also into Santeria, and she told us, don't eat from nowhere, mm -hmm. um, don't go nowhere. Mm -hmm. um, she didn't really like my grandmother for whatever reason, right? Mm -hmm. So we go on a trip, my, um, like in the middle of the night, I say middle of the night, but it could have been like 8 o'clock, it was dark, you know, 6, 7, or whatever have you. Um, so we get dressed, and they take us to Haiti. Mm -hmm. And we went into some of our cousins that were there, and they put us into, like, this little hut, right? So my sister, who comes before me, um, ella se monta, well, you know, spirit channel through her, for lack okay. of a better term. And they want, they insisted that she kept going into the main house. But meanwhile, they stuck all the kids in the little side hut. And they told us not to go out. Whatever you hear, don't come out, mm -hmm. right? So then, um, so my sister used to, let the channel through her to talk to her and I was her conductor like to ground her so to speak mm -hmm. um, it's a bunch of saddest turns I won't even get into it because I probably say it wrong anyway um so then we go and they kept trying to pull us out of the, the room and for whatever reason it was like something that would block us right mm -hmm. so then one of my cousins she's saying told my um my grandmother and decided us with her that oh no they say they can't go so then me and my sister looked at each other and we were like, oh, yeah, my Nina said we can't go. Mm -hmm. So then, um, and the results, we were, we didn't leave the little hut or whatever have you. And then the next day we um, go back to VR and my godmother rose up in the, like, it was in the morning time. So I guess like the sun was breaking or whatever have you. Mm -hmm. so and that comes over. It's like, I knew where you were or whatever have you. But it was the scariest sight ever because we heard dancing, um, Mm -hmm. animals being killed mm -hmm. and there was a lady who was wearing a white and red polka dot dress standing at the door of a window and let us go out to go to the main house right mm -hmm. so then we go to my nina's house and we're telling her whatever have you and she was like oh yeah that's doña julia who is my mother's grandmother okay, okay. um and the only reason why it's still so she didn't she kept telling us not to go we didn't go and then um fast forward like 20 on years later I have my daughter so my daughter and my niece are playing and they keep telling me that the polka dot lady keeps telling them to stay away from the window because I used to live like on a 14th floor or whatever have you mm -hmm. so it, you know I had forgotten about my um, great grandmother mind you I met her when I was you know a baby or whatever have you um, it wasn't until like a couple years later we were in my mom's living room and we're looking through old photo albums that yes we get pictures of dead people at their funeral whatever have you don't judge um, mm -hmm. so then my daughter Three at the time was like, oh yeah, that's lady, the lady with the polka dot dress. And then my sister's like, oh my god, they see the same lady that protected us mm -hmm. from going into that house. Yeah, so, that's why to share with you. Yes. So yes. whenever you guys, because when me and Mister Fresh went to um, DR, we were only there for a couple hours. I was trying to get to Haiti, and. I felt like the guy was like, ah, you, you don't want to go there. <laughs> you don't. So were you guys going over there just to like, was it a ceremonial thing? Or I know you said like was, there was family. There was family there because my, um, the rumor mill among the family was that my mom and dad were about to break up and my grandmother wanted to put like reach on her. Um, so they, oh, I'm sorry. So that they won't break up. Okay. And I'm telling you, my first, so years later, whatever have you, they ended up breaking up and everything just all goes to hell for, you know, my dad and all, mm. whatever have you. But she was sort of protected. And one thing that my Nina did do to me and my sisters when she came back, she something, well, she, you know, something, well. So basically, she blessed us from mm. her ancestors. Um, with Candelo, Santa Barbara, um, mm -hmm. a bunch of her, I wouldn't call them Marishas, I don't know what to call them, yeah. but basically they protect us to this day. Yes. Um, so I just had a granddaughter, and before I leave my visit here, I'm going to do the same thing because she left me a prayer 
uh, from John the Baptist and some psalms that I need to read on top of the baby and to bless her. So I say that's beautiful. Thank you for sharing. Yes, thank you. Yes, so so guys, take care. You too. Thank you. It's so crazy that she was like, you know, Arisha's. That's Mm -hmm. so it. That's kind of what I just initiated into. Um, But you know, whenever they're talking about like. The saints and the Arishas, they're the same, one and the same. So it's its a whole thing, but it was nice to hear a story about, you know, uh, an ancestor protecting and, you know, all that good stuff. Uh, so you got a couple of Super Chats in, but before we get to those, George, are we able to pull up your uh, your your amazing clip that we we made yesterday? Uh, I, I think I'm, I'm able to do that. I got it right here it's been catching traction lately yeah. people obviously you know that yesterday was a leap day mm-hmm. we are in a leap year this year every four years we get to experience this and my goodness you need to go to bizarre Gym. we're gonna build this up okay i just don't think the people are ready for that now so okay. if you wanted a sneak preview of it you can go follow at bizarre junkies um, or you can follow Alvarez Prod LV or Mr. George Carmona. You could check that out. Yep. Um, but I, I think have we to save go that. Look at it because I, I don't think get we on save Instagram. it. No, no, no. We're building. Maybe, maybe we'll now save we, it for the end. We're building the tension right now. Yeah, we're, we'll build the tension. We'll show them at the end. But uh, George, we do have some super chats. Yeah, we have some first time super chatters yes. as well. So get your uh, round of applause. Yes. Oh, you look like you're looking yes, for it. Yes. Um, let me just pull it up. I'm sorry, my computer is. It just loves me. It loves me today. All right. So we have Megan Anderson. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. We also have um, Give It In Gold. Appreciate you. Thank you so much. I need to start wearing my glasses. <laughs> yes. Yes. I should have ran the laugh track on that one. Yeah. <laughs> Maybe I'm over here like, what did I say? Um, okay. Do we have a last four digits? Yes. So for... Uh, Megan Anderson, it's 1013. 1013. 1013. And if you do super chat, please leave the last four of your phone number so that way we can get to you and let you skip yes, the line. Please. Also, uh, please just keep in mind um, we're, we are putting a five minute timer on everybody. So we don't want to cut you off. But if it's like, you know, you're on minute nine out of five, right? We, we have gotta, to to get yeah. to everybody. 1013. And this is Megan? Yes. Yes. Excellent. Okay. I just want to greet her properly uh, when she enters the room. Megan, you Hello. are in the room. Hello. Hi, Megan. Finally. <laughs> Hi, everybody. How Hello. are you? Hello. Hello. Hi, hey, George. Meg. Hi, Austin. Hello. I've been trying to get in this room for weeks, and I always it always slips my mind, and then I catch the playback, and I'm like, dang, I forgot mm. to call it. Well, you're so, here now, so yes, welcome. Yes, thank you. Thank y'all. Glad to be here. Okay, so let me hurry up because I know I got five minutes and I really have several stories. I'm going to tell one and then the last two, I'll let y'all pick which one y'all want to hear. I probably only have time for two. Okay, um, okay so the first story, it, it caught my attention last week because George mentioned that he, um, the only time he's ever astro projected was when he was on cough syrup. And mm-hmm. I was almost like, I don't mm-hmm. want to call in and tell that story. But when I heard George <laughs> say the same thing, yeah. I was Let's like, go. okay, George, it's, it's not just you. It's me, too. And I, at first, I thought it was just me. I was like, I don't want to sound weird. But when I heard George say that last week, I'm like, nah, Megan, you got to tell your story. And I don't even think it's that that crazy of a story. But anyway, here goes. Okay, so I was with my boyfriend. He actually introduced me to cough syrup, and I had never done it before. I was very skeptical. Uh, skeptical. It was months that I researched side effects, what it's going to do to me before I tried it. Right. And so we, um, he was in Illinois. I'm in Georgia. And um, he was in Illinois for Mets, and I missed him, so I went to go see him. And so while we were there, you know, we did it. And mm-hmm. so it was so crazy because he was having, he was tripping bad. And I was fine, and it was my first time doing it. And he was like, mm-hmm. wow, you're really fine. And I'm like, yeah, I'm fine. But mm-hmm. as soon as it hit me, it's like, it hit you in a second. One second you'll be fine. The next second you're 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 gone. And so when it hit me, he was in the bathroom. I was in the hotel room by myself, and I I I can't say I saw a little girl, but I felt a little girl in the corner. 
And I was kind of freaking out a little bit at first when it hit me, but I, I don't know if I saw her or if I felt her, I really can't say, but I know it was a little girl. And mm. she was like, you're fine. It's going to be okay. And I, I, I felt fine after that. I kept that to myself, but you know, I don't know if I, other listeners are, have ever asked or predicted before, but, um, or have ever done cough syrup before. But in this case, you know, we were laying on the bed mm. and we were high. I can't say we, we were high, but I felt like I was, I might as well have been in Paris. You know, I was mm-hmm. literally looking at, I was looking down at us on the bed mm-hmm. and to somebody else, it would look like we were sleeping, but I was literally looking down at us on the bed. And I, to this day, I still can't even believe it, but I know it happened. And then I felt like the room was full of people. It was just me and him in the room, but I felt like there was so many people there with us, but I wasn't afraid. Right. And that was the first time that, Anything like that has happened to me. I never had any type of interactions with the other side. And so for that to happen like that, and I wasn't even afraid. And I was just like, that was kind of like one of those experiences Mm -hmm. from before and after. Mm -hmm. And before that happened, I would have thought like, oh, that's scary. But after that happened, Mm -mm. it just made me just not even afraid of the spirit realm anymore because I still cannot explain how that happened and george I, I don't know if i have to how much time do i have left but is is that kind of what happened with you too uh absolutely yeah um i i felt like i was going wherever my mind truly wanted to and i i think this has <laughs> opened up slightly into like a I need to do something with you on drugs austin because <laughs> i'm pretty say, have you had, i'm pretty you I'm mushrooms pr- uh, oh yeah uh, i have i have, we can microdose <laughs> i've never tried i'm too scared i'm like uh-huh. i have some on my desk we could microdose if we wanted to okay. i'm scared too i'm scared of shit to do but it but i want to know like is it possible for me to do because ever since it happened i'm like that only happened because you were on drugs but is it possible for me to do that sober i want to be able to yes. do that sober Yes. Okay. So sometimes whenever, um, not you looking like, okay. What All right. Now? No, go on. So whenever, okay. So you know how they talk about like your third eye mm-hmm. pineal gland, it calcifies. Okay. And you cannot see different things that you norm. If you're gifted and your third eye is closed, right? You're not able to use the other part of your brain that it takes to see into the spiritual world. But whenever you are on drugs, like cough syrup or sometimes marijuana or even the mushrooms it opens your it's like the veil just is snatched off and your third eye is like listen boom massage in between Let your you eyes know. yeah massage in between your eyes meditate um astral projection for me sometimes i'll be scared i'm like i'm gonna get lost i'm gonna be like that little boy in <laughs> in that movie insidious oh geez <laughs> i'll be thinking i'm gonna get lost but um just meditating uh micro dosing like he said and i'm so scared too yeah i'm i'm a little and it's not because i'm afraid of what i'll see because there's another thing that i wanted to do is it um i should mm, don't let me somebody put it in the comments y'all know what i'm talking about it's like i should wash Ayahuasca. 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 Yeah. Um, I heard that stuff is rough. Yes. Like it beats your ass. So in in a short answer, yes, you can absolutely do a sober, but you just need to open up that that third eye. And that takes okay. a lot. And I know my friend's been telling me you gotta eat right, you gotta detox. Your yes. gut is not gonna be telling eat, you the right thing if your yeah. gut is not healthy. Yes. Eat so, the okay. whole I rainbow. Got one more. Let me tell eat this one real quick. Right. And I'm we're gonna no no no. We're gonna we're gonna give you like Go ahead, tell two the story. minutes. Go yeah, ahead. Yeah, we took up some of your time there. That's okay. our fault. So the last one, do y'all wanna hear the ancestor story or the sleep paralysis story? I think sleep paralysis. Okay. I think I think that's the that's Damn, the Damn, that's we're... that's a hard pick. You don't just call it Hey, you want to hear the? One? You want to hear when I met Bigfoot or when I met aliens? Like, right. yeah, well, yeah, okay. <laughs> okay, so, so this this story actually only came about because the first time I listened to this uh, live, and I was like, I gotta think of a cool story to tell, and I was like. I did have sleep paralysis that one time. And when I thought about it, I'm like, wow, I'm living in the same place now 
from when I first had sleep paralysis. I was Mm -hmm. at a friend's house years and years and years ago, and I just so happened to be in the same complex. I just moved in less than a year ago. I hadn't thought of it until I watched y'all's live, and I thought about what can I tell, and I'm like, dang, I'm in the same place. So anyway, years and years ago, I was at my friend's house. Everybody was drinking. They went over to their other neighbor's house. I stayed at their house because I was, you know, I was drinking. I wanted to lay down. Mm -hmm. As soon as I laid down on their couch, I laid down on my back and you know how it happens. I was right at the mm-hmm. brink of sleep and consciousness, and I just couldn't move. And I felt this. I, I felt this shadow, this heavy weight on top of me. And ever since I was little, I've always had like nightmares, and I've always had a really vivid. I I I, I know I can lucid dream because yeah. I I've done it before. And mm-hmm. I know how to control my dreams to the point where if I'm having a nightmare, I know all I got to do is jump off of something high. Mm-hmm. Go to the, t- the tallest building you can yep. find and just and jump off jump and that'll wake, wake me up. You up. So I learned how to wake <laughs> myself scary. up from childhood. And- it is scary. <laughs> but when you know you're dreaming, it's like you're in control. Yeah, exactly. And so I I, I did that. And I, I, I was on the couch and I just rolled myself <laughs> off the couch and I woke up. As soon as I, I, all I could do was just barely move and I rolled myself off the couch and I woke up. I told them when they got back, nobody believed me, right? Okay, so fast forward to just maybe last week or maybe less than a week ago, mm-hmm. I was in my room in my house and I don't like that back room. I've been sleeping in the living room for weeks mm-hmm. because I just haven't had a good feeling in that back room and I can't explain it. And mm-hmm. so um, my friend thought, oh, you just need a gun. You're just afraid to be too far away. I mean, that is kind of true, but yeah. <laughs> right. Yeah. But I, it's something about that back room. It just always gave me a vibe. But so mm-hmm. I was back there sleeping because I'm like, okay, Megan, enough is enough. You've been in the living room sleeping long enough. Go in your actual room. So I'm back there in the room. And it's crazy because it was early in the morning. I was actually listening to the show and I was falling asleep while I was listening to you, Noah. <laughs> and so I'm like, Megan, don't go to sleep while you're listening. To I was yeah. about to say, <laughs> I, my stories are not the ones you want to fall asleep. I would say for both channels. <laughs> both, both channels. channels turn like, that shit off. <laughs> and right when I was and I, I knew not to do it and right when I fell into it the first time I fell into it it was still light out and I shook myself out of it but yeah. I fell right back into it when <sighs> I fell back into it it was dark and mm-hmm. all I could see was a flame in the corner of my room and mm-hmm. behind the flame was a shadow mm-hmm. and once again I rolled myself out of it but when I told my friend he's spiritual too he said you need to look at it embrace it and mm-hmm. I hear Noah saying I see that man in the corner yep. and you say it so calmly mm-hmm. and I'm like do I need to embrace this or do mm-hmm. I need to keep shaking myself out of it nope you need to just square up square up with it what is it gonna do <laughs> it's dead you I'll be like come on I'll be like Popeye I'll be like, let's go, <laughs> because this is the okay. thing. And I made a TikTok on this. And, um, you know, whenever you, like, be afraid, these things are like Freddy Krueger. They feed off of fear. Sometimes if it's a low vibrational D word or, like, a, a entity. But then I learned, and I did, I never share this anywhere but this show, is that whenever we see, I call them low vibrational creatures or D words because I don't know what they are at the time, but a lot of those are just lost souls that got lost in that. Those are people. So if you embrace it, sometimes if you look it in the eye and literally feel nothing, it's almost like meditating, but feel nothing but a bunch of love, it will Mm -hmm. dissipate or turn into its regular form. So it's like, don't be afraid because if worst case scenario, you are alive, you have way more energy and pool than something that is not either not human or okay. not even on this in this realm anymore. So I said, go ahead. Come on. Let's go. We either going to squirrel okay. or we going to dance. Which one? So, okay. Don't Thanks. be scared. Next week, I got y'all with the ancestor story. I know. Okay. Oh, I yes. might send another super chat. I might send um, another super we chat. Appreci- tonight. What, we appreciate listen, your what's support. $5? What's right. $10? right. I All appreciate right. you. <laughs> yes. Thank, Thank so you much. for Thank your support. Y'all. Thank you. All I know is I'm, uh, hey, George, <laughs> if I got to scrub with a low vibrational being, I'm throwing its ass in a guillotine, okay? No, listen. We're doing jujitsu on it. I ain't swinging. I used to. No, nah, we. I promise right here, you, baby. like, I, right here, that's how I was. I told, Choke that I don't know. Baby. I never told my own creepy story about the time, nor did I on this show whenever um, I saw the low vibrational, I wrestled with it, and we fell through into another um, realm. 
Oh, that's you telling me you got an expendables fight with the <laughs> low oh, vibrational baby, being? We was tussling, and I said, "Oh, no, 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 no." But don't be afraid of these things because I noticed whenever I wasn't a spiritualist and I would experience low vibrational creatures, I would be terrified, yeah. like scared. And now I realized back then they were feeding off of that. So yeah. whenever I started going toe to toe with them, they like, all right, this bitch is crazy. Like nothing <laughs> scares her. So you got to out crazy the crazies. Right. Out crazy the crazy. Like you, like on social media, you got to out troll yeah. the trolls. Sometimes yes. it's fun. Yes. Uh, George, we do. So we did, we did have an oopsie and that is my bad where um, it still says uh, it's $5 to super chat or $5 <gasps> super chat to skip the line. So we had somebody super chat and I want to be fine. respectful of yeah. them. So, uh, we have 1417, George. 1417. Lovely Renee. 1417. Star six to unmute. Star six. Yeah, has been saying, so don't ignore the shadows anymore. Hell no. We swear. Oh, nah, man. I'll be looking like. Yasmin, you are in the room. <laughs> or, no, this is Renee. Renee. Hello? Renee. Hello? My apologies. Should have asked. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Hi, everybody. Hi, Noah. I love Hi, you. Love. Oh, I love you down too. How are you? I'm doing good. I'm doing good. Okay, I'm a little nervous, y'all. Okay. okay. Here we go. You know what the nervous people I always <laughs> man, y'all don't be nervous. Y'all be ready to scare the hell out of us okay. and have us have nightmares ourselves. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm really nervous. But I really do need your advice. I I I don't know what the heck this is. But, okay, so I'm calling from Houston, Texas, but I used mm. to live in Vegas three years ago. Okay. And I was at work, and I was watching my youth, my, one of my favorite YouTubers, and he brings on, like, spiritualists. Mm -hmm. And he brought on this one spiritualist, like, and he was talking about like, how he dabbled in all this other type of religion, you know, mm. uh, if, if Ifa and, yes. like, Santeria and all that stuff like that. Mm. And he was talking about spiritual baths. Mm. And so I don't know what it was. I don't know why. Sensory, it just kept popping up in my head. It was mm -hmm. weird. I don't know why. Mm -hmm. But all day I was thinking about it. And then, so later on, I went home. And me and my cousin, we were supposed to be going out. Mm -hmm. And I'm getting ready. And all of a sudden, I feel like this eerie feeling over me. And I'm like, what the hell? Mm -hmm. Oh, hell no. I feel like somebody in my house. Mm -hmm. I'm like, yeah, let me get the hell up out of here. Uh -uh. <laughs> so I grabbed all my stuff. <laughs> I grabbed all my stuff. I'm like, yeah, girl. And she stayed in the same apartment building. So I ran over there to her house. I'm like, girl, I'm staying here tonight. Mm -hmm. So the next morning, me and my best friend, we went to the house. Now, this is some weird shit. I'm sorry, excuse my language. No, um, go this ahead. is some weird stuff. <laughs> so mind you, the spirituals were talking about a uh, spiritual bath. Mm -hmm. And so when we went in the house, Ryan went to the bathroom. Girl, tell me why it was a perfectly drawn bath in my, my tub. Oh, no. No. I, was, I swear to mm -hmm. God, I'm like, what the heck? And now, mind you, hold on, let me back it up a little bit. So we be putting it, like, we put the um, stoppers in the, the drain because, like, water bugs and stuff be coming up. Right. And I always do this. And I ain't, the, the water doesn't leak, the faucet doesn't leak. So what the hell? Why would right. there be a perfectly drawn bath water in my, my thing? So I was scared mm -hmm. to put my hand in there. I was like, I don't know. I've been right. That. I don't know what's so in that. <laughs> Exactly. And I told my best friend to do it because I'm thinking, like, if it's for me, it's for me. It's not going to do nothing for her, to her. Mm -hmm. So she puts her hand and she's like, girl, this shit freezing cold. Like, what the hell? Mm -hmm. So, yeah, that was a crazy incident. And ever since that night, ever since that night, girl, that night I laid down in the bed, I felt something get in the bed with me. Uh -huh. And every night, <laughs> I'm telling you, every night I feel that thing. Whatever it is, I don't know what it is. And I watched your video. So you help me to like not be scared, you know, square yeah. up like you say. I'm right. squaring up with these hoes. <laughs> <laughs> something I'm running towards you, like, hey, what's the exactly? Answer? You got me. Yep, you <laughs> got me. And they looking like, girl, <laughs> we've been had you. And I, it's so crazy because um, either they wanted you to take a bath because it, it's so weird that you just had that that thought about what the spiritualist was saying about Santeria and um, spirit baths. So maybe an ancestor wanted to, but whatever is around you, it definitely isn't um, bad or doesn't have bad intention. But at the same time, it's time to uh, call in that power and be like, you got to go. You ain't got to go home, but you got to get the hell up out of here. You know, so yes. do you still feel it? <laughs> yes. I, girl, the other day, <laughs> let me tell you, I was watching TV 
And I seen something like flying towards me. It looked like a little white. I thought it was a white piece of lint. Mm -hmm. I was like, what the hell? But it, and then it disappeared. And I said, I bet not feel this month, this thing. <laughs> Creep up in my bed. And that's exactly what happened. Yep. I was time. like, yeah, but I, I be, I be, look, and I be talking, so I be like, who is it? Are you, who are you? Like, I be saying that, like, yeah, girl, that's what's happening. I don't know what it is, but I said the same thing. I said, I think it's my ancestors trying to tell me, like, girl, you need a spiritual bath. Yeah, like, yeah. Um, and you, I don't know if you have an altar, but I would definitely um, commune with your ancestors because they're allowing it. They send back, like, I don't know. Let's see how this goes, because usually they'll block things that aren't for you or they'll teach you a lesson in those things. But the fact that this has been happening for a minute and they ain't saying nothing, it makes me think it's one of them. Um, and I would definitely say if this is y'all, we need some space and boundaries. They're still the same people that they were here. So you can tell them, like, if that's y'all getting in my bed, I don't like that. Stop. You know, so yeah. And if not, then, like I said, it's time for a cleanse. That's all. <laughs> yeah, I think I'm going to definitely do a cleanse, mm -hmm. honestly. Yeah, go ahead but and just set that so up. Much. Yes, you're welcome. Yes, thank you thank for your support. You so much. Thank you for calling. That's now, crazy. Now here's, my no problem. <laughs> um, here's my question for you. If I feel something laying on my bed, I'm swinging. Yeah. And Me is too that first. The right, is, that the, is that the wrong? Well... I'm from get the, the hood. Fuck out my yeah, bed. <laughs> right. I'm from the hood. So if I feel something and get in the bed and I know it's not my husband or one of my kids, I'm gonna be like, I know he ain't in my shit. Actually, scratch that. I'm not even George. You know what I'm doing? I'm I'm elbow dropping into that bitch. Yeah. Oh my goodness. I'm just gonna I'm gonna get a running start too. It's a ghost. They never stand a chance. <laughs> hey, it's a ghost. Well, have you seen? <laughs> there's the meme of a. You know, Beetlejuice is like from Howard Stern. Mm, yeah yeah so there's a meme of him just like standing all like tough and it's like me looking at the ghost even though they're over there <laughs> I <know. laughs> like, me, me acting like i can see him right and it's just like you you can feel ghosts before you can see them oh You'll yeah feel them before him. yeah i i mean george didn't feel anything but i felt way more than i saw yeah when we did the investigation george um just saw me looking dumb <laughs> <laughs> you didn't look dumb having night vision is definitely not the way i want to do it next time yeah you want to actually be in it i want to well, yeah, I just want to feel scared, like really scared. Why? I, Why scared? I don't, you know, I think, yeah, have need, you ever, I think it needs to actually, like for I me, imagine, I was terrified. <laughs> like I would imagine it's the same feeling as going to a party and not having fun. Like okay. you see everyone else like getting freaked experience out something. and then I'm just like, but, but guys, I want to have fun. <laughs> right. Uh, uh I Meg want to be a part of the party. Megan Anderson super chatted again. Uh, 1013. Oh. So thank you. She okay. Sorry, my computer just went out again. I'm telling you, I appreciate you, Megan. I can't does see the, anything. Does the, uh, does the hardwire work on this, George? I'm starting to think it doesn't. Oh, I just, it was doing well. It was. I got it to connect last time uh, just did, did through we, SPS. Did we ever get to... Um, what was her name? The gold. The gold. I don't think they left a number though. Oh, that's right. I'm sorry. Um. Okay. So our next one, we got Megan again at ten thirteen. Oh, I'm not seeing her in the weight room. Okay, she's got to get back in there though. Once you're back in, we'll let you get pop and jump right to the front. I have to go in here. But yeah, um, yeah our internet is while, well, while we wait for her or whichever, um, yeah. So remember, I just told you that I squared up with a D word mm -hmm. and I wasn't scared. But before I was scared in the sleep paralysis portion of it. I feel like that's because you really can't do anything. Like yeah, I, it, I wasn't even. I don't know if I was scared, but I was pissed. <laughs> You're like you mother. I look. Yes, I said I know. <laughs> I know damn well. <laughs> and because it was just sitting there trying to intimidate me. And that's what pissed me off. At first, I was like, oh, my gosh, what is that? And then it just stood there like this over my bed. And I was like, okay. You think you, you don't pay a goddamn bill in here. Let's go. And it's like we was telepathically talking shit to each other. So you were like, yeah. bitches, like, yo, mama. And like, no. yo, mama. You've, you've seen that one? Yes. Yo, literally. Ball head <laughs> right. Oh, sorry. <laughs> and then, have, is, that, is that Megan in the We oh, have is, Megan in the room. Is Megan here? Okay. Hey, girl, hey. Excuse, excuse <laughs> our, uh, our, our ratchetness. <laughs> I can't 
couldn't wait till next week. I couldn't wait. Okay, can y'all hear me? Yes, that's not the cat. That's okay. the wrong cat. <laughs> Hold on, <laughs> real quick. So this time, oh. I, this time I want to do more listening than talking. So I'm gonna hurry up and tell this story, and okay. then I want to ask some questions. Okay. Okay. So the the ancestor story was pretty much. Um, I had an ex. Matter of fact, the same ex that I was, you know, doing the syrup, the the, the cough, whatever with. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that was the same ex. Um, a few years ago, probably about six or seven years ago, this is when we broke up. He got into some trouble. Mm-hmm. He, I can't say I don't want to um, admit to any any felonies. <laughs> no, 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 no. Say, we're, we're protect your identity. <laughs> Did we say this was Megan? No, this is uh, <laughs> this is uh. Michael, yes, on the phone right yes, now. Yes, this is um, Michelle. Michelle, there yes. we go. <laughs> go ahead. Oh, right, 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 Michelle. I always <laughs> tell guys I was born. When I tell dudes I was born a man, I say I was born Marvin. So I'll be Marvin, right? Marvin. Now. So <laughs> sometimes I just say that just to get him to leave me alone. I was born a man. But anyway, um, okay. So yeah, uh, a long time ago, or whatever, he got himself into some trouble and. When I came home and I saw the evidence of what he had done, I told him to get rid of it. This cannot be in my house. Get mm-hmm. rid of it. And so the next day, he ended up getting arrested for what he had done. He didn't even tell me what he did. I just woke up one morning and I saw some items in the home that were not ours. Mm-hmm. And I'm like, where did this come from? Get rid of it. And mm-hmm. he did. He got rid of everything. And the next day, police were at our door mm-hmm. and he got arrested. And I could have been arrested. Right. I had no idea of, of what he had done. I was asleep when he did it. But mm-hmm. anyway, so when he got arrested, I spent the night at home. And then the next day I told my sister what happened. She told my dad. And I was living like two hours away. I was still kind of in shock. So I hadn't told my family yet. But anyway, when he came and got me, he told me, he said about a week ago, I, um, it's a picture me and my grandma took. She used to work at the daycare that I was at. And mm-hmm. we took a picture and, um, he said, about a week ago, that picture of you and your grandma was on the floor in my office. And he cherishes that picture because my grandma has right, passed so away. Right, so he knew it wasn't supposed to be on the floor. that picture. Mm-hmm. Yes, and he asked everybody in the house, who who put this picture on the floor? You know, mm-hmm. and everybody's like, not me. I don't know how I got on the floor. Right. And so he said after he after he found out what happened, he figured it out. Like, that's your grandma was trying to tell me to go check on you. Yeah. And oh, yes. I'm about to get upset just thinking about it. But, um... Mm-hmm. It, it's just it, it. Once he told me that, and I've been in so many near death experiences. I got hit with by, in the back by an eighteen wheeler where oh I was pushed into oncoming traffic. Me and my boyfriend, we were fine, but we could have really been gone. He, the, the eighteen wheeler pushed us into oncoming traffic, and I've been in so many near death experiences. I've had so many things happen to me where I should have been dead in jail. I should have been. I should have. I should not be 28 yeah. years old and unscathed. Right. And I know I'm protected and I feel protected and I feel, I feel like I want to tap into that. And that's why I said, I want to do more listening than talking. I just wanted to tell that story because mm-hmm. that, that just let me know my grandma is looking out <laughs> for me. And all of my grandparents are passed away on my yeah. mom's side and my dad's side. They're both gone. They're all gone. Absolutely. So I know I'm protected. I know that's why I've, I've got to this age without, having anything wrong with me but i want to know how i can tap into that i've been tap i've been trying to tap into my spirituality more but i want to make sure i'm talking to my grandma and not a d yeah. word you know yes yes because that's very important them trickster spirits they play a little <laughs> too much yep. um come on and and join us on patreon this is what i do all day every day so okay. i would say for one um on patreon we do teach how to properly uh, venerate ancestors, communicate with them through divination and all that good stuff. Um, And just making the connection. And I taught this to my patrons and just introducing yourself. They know you, they know you very well, but this is still like a a person. So you have to, you know, have the etiquette to say, Hey, my name is Marvin. I am wanting to communicate, start off small, you know, um, a lot of people don't realize the reason why they don't have luck with um, ancestry or whatever the case is is because they start off begging <laughs> instead of, you know, introducing yourself. It's like if you never met somebody and the first thing they ask you for is five dollars and you like, well, damn, I don't even know you like that. We just met. That's the kind of thing. Even though they know you, they want to build a relationship with you. And a lot of people don't realize that they just jump off, um, you know, the, the porch 
asking for things. So I would say, first of all, go, come over to Patreon because we do this all day, every day. Um, we also have a private Facebook group where we talk about spirituality and it's just for my patrons. Um, so I would say that. And then just introducing yourself and letting them know how much you appreciate them because you better believe if you got reared to buy a 18 wheeler, then was nothing but them ancestor spirit guys and the most high looking out for you and pushed into oncoming traffic, girl, you are blessed. And we need to definitely, um, connect on Patreon. Thank you for the call. I think we may have lost her. All right. Well, she can still hear me. Oh, oh. I'm sorry. Oh, oh. I did you meet me? By accident. Oh, oh. <laughs> star six, star six. I'm sorry, but I was I was just saying thank you so much. I definitely will do that because I I want you to help me make my altar and I I want yes. to get started the right way. Yeah, so, uh, we so go much. over every single little aspect of that what you should be putting on your ancestor altar, which you shouldn't. You know, there's certain ancestors of mine that I can't even get no look to because they're going to get started. And that spirit, <laughs> that spirit is still, you know, there. They will make me crave things they want. So I teach all of that stuff on there. So, but I appreciate hey. you super chatting again. I don't even know if I'm live still on my page. Um, am I live on my page? I'm not sure. Yeah, we're that's having... how I found you. I was listening to the yeah. story you told about okay. the man who, um, yeah, and then I saw you were live. So, yeah. But thank you. I definitely will thank reach out on Patreon. Thank you so much. Yes. And the link is Bye. in the description and all that good stuff. <laughs> yeah, I asked because I went to my page and I don't see it at all. Yeah. So I, I mean, like... I, I'm on it right now and it's still showing live. Okay. Yeah, so good. The one thing you got to know about this studio is that we've prioritized live streaming. So literally everybody else's Wi-Fi in the building gets drained because we need yeah. the show to happen. Yes. Yeah. So that's why, I mean, even if you experience slight glitches, um, we have done everything on our and literally, we yeah, we that pay has for the, the most best connection out of anything. In yeah, here. yeah. We yeah. we pay for the most expensive internet that I've ever heard of in my entire life. So yeah, yeah. It's, it's here we are. <laughs> right. Yeah, Thanks, a, Cox. Yeah, this a, uh, this AT and T couldn't figure it out. So hey, they couldn't. This MacBook is like struggling. Yeah, it's chugging along, man. We appreciate everybody. So if I don't reply to you guys' comments, it's because I cannot see my own live stream right now. I do not know what's going on. The chat rate, though, is pumping right now. So yeah. keep the yes. keep the, the community going. While we're here. letting the internet figure itself out, um, we did open a brand new merch store yes, for this did. show. Um, I posted the link earlier. Um, I'll post it again. Um, but yeah, and there's 15% off right now. 15% off sale. We have hats. We have shirts. We have hoodies. We have stickers. Yeah. Sure do. Sorry. Um, but we also have Mr. Fresh in the building Yeah, now. Mr. Fresh is getting set up. Hello. How you guys doing? Mr. Fresh is in the building. Hey, hey, hey. Sheesh. I feel like the stream is like, I mean, the stream is always great, but then when Mr. Fresh comes in, it like elevates wow. it. He gives the mystere. You know, we only get to see the back of his head. Hey, I thought about some super flash shit to say on the way here, and I was like, what should I say? <laughs> and so, all I want to say is, Mr. Fresh is in the building. Oh, he's announced the radio DJ. Go ahead, back. Swagger on 100,000 trillion. You know? I love it. And the voice of my, my, my homie Kanye. Yes. Oh, can you go to, are you able to moderate or it's I, not on your page? Well, unfortunately, I wasn't able to moderate because I was driving 30 minutes over here. But no, no, now no. I'm here, so. Well, what I'm saying is, are you able to see the live? Uh, Momentarily. I don't know. I don't think it's your internet. I think it's YouTube. Really? Yeah, because it yeah, keeps I mean, on, on my end, it's still showing your live. It keeps kicking me in the ads, and then once I watch the ad, then <laughs> it, it says it says it says you, you know you're waiting to go back into the chat, and it never happens. So I have to close it down and open it back up instantly every time. Okay, yeah, we're the, up and running. I chat, got it pulled up on my phone. The chat is already saying though, Mister Fresh, <laughs> hey. Mister Fresh. Hey, uh, people are asking if we have smell stickers. No, I mean I don't. I don't know. If hey, that's... I like scent stickers. Yeah, but like I don't think we can offer that. I don't even think no. that's available for us to even <laughs> offer. <laughs> we don't. We don't have smell stickers, but I do have one Versace right now. So he's, dude, he smells hey. amazing. He does. He <laughs> does. Uh, I'm posting the link. I don't know if it'll work well in okay, me posting it, it, but um, okay. Mr. So, Fresh will send it to you. 
Okay. Just like we had the 666 number earlier. Oh, what do we have? We now have a 999 number. Ooh. Let's go. So George is, George is feeling himself tonight. And the angel numbers are angels. I know. So they were making fun of him. Ew. Like, yeah, is he intoxicated? And here comes Shy, like, ooh, uh, lips here. Uh, 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 <laughs> oh, also, Shy did say that she also owns a Ford. George. I did see that. I did see that. American made. There wow. we go. 9990. And just to clarify, George is not drunk, guys. I said that because he said he was taking 10 steps forward, three steps to the side, <laughs> turning around, touching that the ground. Means he's I said always, he's he's always on top. I failed the sobriety test. You are, <laughs> uh, you are in the room. Hello? Yes, hey we there. can hear you. Hi, I can hear you. You can hear me. This is crazy. Yep. Yes. <laughs> Hey, hi, Austin. Hi, Mr. Fresh. Hey, Mr. George, who I never get to see. Hi, Noah. Hi, love. Hey, so my name is Lonnie. I'm excited to actually get on. It's my first time actually calling, but I love your show, both of Thank them. Thank you so much. Um, I have a lot of weird stuff that happens, so okay. I know you guys have uh, your favorites with the um, E.T. stuff, not E.T., but extraterrestrial. Anyway, so I'm just talking about those real quick, and I'm going to go really fast because there's a few of them. Okay. So I always have weird stuff that happens to me when I'm alone. <clears throat> so if something happened to happen when someone else is by me, I make it happen. It's like, hey, you see that too? <laughs> right. <And they're> like, <laughs> Give it a double take like, you see that? <laughs> yeah. So just one day I'm driving down the road taking this girl home mm -hmm. um, for a friend. I'm dropping her off at home. And no cars on the road. It's this long road. And there was this big old thing in the sky. Kind of looked like a plane, but kind of not. And it's all black. So mm -hmm. I'm slowing up. And I'm like, okay, this ain't happening. I say, hey, you see that? And she was like, yeah, I was trying to figure out what it was. Mm -hmm. I say, do you in the sky? Because it was like right above the trees. She was mm -hmm. like, I don't think you can do that. <laughs> now, by this time, I have to go up under this thing to get to her house, to get to the street to turn. So I'm going under it. By the time I'm under it, I speed up. I'm like, I don't know what the hell it is. It takes off and then it's gone. Can't be found. Never see it again. That's one weird thing. Okay, I moved to Washington State. Living in North Bend, out in the country in the back. Mm -hmm. Black. Me and my children, We uh, they were around nine years old. And one of the ways uh, I used to get them to be creative about reading, we would go to the library, pick a book as a group, and each night, uh, we would take turns reading certain pages out of the book as, you know, family. Right. To out loud to eat. And then we discuss the book and like, oh, that's crazy, whatever, whatever, whatever. So in Washington, it's a, it's a spring, um, no AC inside, but we it's a French doors that goes off to a, like a little deck. And it's basically backyard, nothing but pitch black. Open it up, feel pitch black, you don't see nothing, but cool breeze is coming in. We chilling. All right, it's time to get ready and go to bed. We're trying to get ready and close the doors. We walk on the deck. All of us, just for a little bit, and see these things moving all the way in the sky. And mm. I'm like, hmm, that's weird. But then they move way too fast to be planes on the opposite side of the sky. Mm. Okay, close the door. That ain't our business. We ain't got nothing to do with it. <laughs> right. I, nothing else. I leave it alone. I end up moving. This is a whole other story now. I end up moving to Las Vegas. Okay? Oh, goodness. <laughs> then you oh, already no. know. Yeah. <laughs> I'm not in Las Vegas no more. That's all I'm going to say. Yep. So yep. I'm on I think this uh, 15 going home, and I have I, it's a, not the exit that's Craig Road, not that mm -hmm. exit. One behind that, which has this big old loop that loops all the way around. So mm -hmm. I'm getting off the exit. I'm already on a par to exit. Yeah, I'm on the phone with my mm -hmm. sister. I just got it's around 9.30, in between 9.30, 10 o'clock. I see something big as day is clear, translucent, but I can see it because the way the street lights are shimmering, I can see it. Mm -hmm. I say, I don't know what to do. I can't get off the road. Ain't no, I don't know what I'm supposed to do. It's this thing above me. It's hovering. It's clear, but it's not clear. I can see it. I'm freaking out. She was like, would you uh, just, just go slow? Just go slow. Get to the stop line. Just get to the stop line. Get to the stop line. I'm going slow as hell because I'm so scared. I don't know mm -hmm. what to do. I finally make it to the stop sign. I hit the right zoom. I'm taking off. I get the Amazon. I'm keeping my thing, my eyes on this thing. Mm -hmm. It ain't moving. Mm -hmm. I come up to the back road. Now I'm facing the Air Force. Mm -hmm. Oh, I'm looking at the Air Force base and two <laughs> things that zoom off. Got to be jets. 
mm-hmm. look like pitch white. All you mm-hmm. see is pitch white. It take off in the sky so fast. I look back, this thing is not clear anymore. Mm-hmm. And it's moving fast. Mm-hmm. They're going after it. Mm-hmm. I just took my little happy on it home and went to sleep. Period. <laughs> because... First of all, the fact that you've had so many experience UFO sightings, I listen, I haven't even had one and I've been living in Las Vegas <laughs> for what? How long now? Since 2011, <laughs> but the fact that you uh, said that you were in front of those Air Force base and then they just took off after you seen this yeah. thing, you knew what you seen cuz they seen it too. So She was out there by they Amazon, so she was like, on the pay mm-hmm. but I could and that's just some of the weird stuff. Another little weird thing, this didn't have anything to do with ET. This was a, uh, I was in a car with my sister driving. Mm-hmm. And I'm on a two-way road going in one direction, a middle road to turn on. Two, ma- two lanes going on the opposite direction. We're coming up towards the lights, right? Mm-hmm. Right? <clears throat> An accident from the opposite side of the road happens. The car is spinning around coming in my direction. Everything slows up. Everything slows up, except for me. I just see an opening to the right, and I move my car right. I don't know, easy peasy, slicing everything. And as soon as I move, everything speeds up. The car that's spinning hits the car that was behind me in the spot I was supposed to be in. Mm. I'm at the light now, and I'm looking in my rear view like, oh, thank you, Lord Jesus. Glory to right, God. Right, right. I hit that right because I'm in an emergency lane. Mm-hmm. Now, again, it happens to me when I'm by myself. I'm in the car with my sister and I. Hey, mm-hmm. Raina. Uh, did she? Did she was. Did she confirm well, that she felt like things slowed down too? She, oh, she said it. I asked her, say, did everything just slow up real slow, and we were able to move? She was like, yeah. We've never <laughs> talked about this. Are you the sister that always has something going on with her, either paranormal or just otherworldly, or just coincidences? Does she know you for that? No, I keep it. Well, let me. As a kid. Things that I would say out loud, um, I would get in trouble for. Ugh, like if I, I see a, a news of somebody um, missing, mm-hmm. and I don't know what I'm saying. like. Oh Lord, I hope they find them before. And whatever I'm saying, it's like a quick little prayer. But I could tell if the person is, you know, still kind of hmm or or not. Right. Or I'll say, Oh Lord, I hope they find a body. My grandma would be like, Don't say that. You speaking death upon somebody. You speaking. I'm like, Okay. So I kept all that in. Mm-hmm. I don't tell people to hear and stuff like that. But yeah. over lately, it's been kind of like, Okay, this is something because at my last job, I worked for the state. Um, I was a director, and I came in early. All of a sudden. Being nice, came in early, brought my entire front staff coffee. Why, Yolanda? I guess fear had me in the mood. <laughs> I'm checking residents out for my staff to enjoy their coffee. This is not my job. This is my staff job. One of the men that's signing out, I'm looking at him, and I'm like, I'm not going to say his name. Mr. X, are you feeling okay? Mm. Yeah, Miss Yolanda, I got, I'm going to be late. Mr. X, something ain't right. You, something, something. I asked mm-hmm. my the person me he said, Hey, come here. He look all right to you. She looked at me, yeah, let's <laughs> see what you see. Do me this one favor. Come inside, call the uh call the nurse line. If she say you fine, I'll sign you out. I'll call your job. I'll get you mm-hmm. extended. Spend your time to get back in the building. I'm the director, I can do that. They're in work release, they still incarcerated. He gets on the phone. The nurse call, picks, uh, gets me on the phone after she talked to him, call 911. He gets to the emergency room. I'm the director. I go on about my day. I have a lot of stuff I have to do. I go home. Any resident, because they're incarcerated, if they're late coming back into the building, whoever's on staff has to call me automatically for me to approve it. Mm-hmm. I get a call at 8 o'clock at night for an approval for an extension for this person. He ain't back in the building? Mm-hmm. Oh, nobody told me he had a stroke. What? And you asked him, you feeling all right? What? Yeah. That's crazy. That is nuts. Yeah. But that thank you so crazy. much for your call. We do got to move on to the next caller, though. Yes. Thank, thank you, you so much. Thank you, though. Yes. Some Bye. people can look and just, they got yeah. that sight. Um, and something she said that a lot of people, a lot of people that have um, no veil or have gifts, they would get in trouble as children for talking about it or saying it. And that's yep. why. I think uh, Brie X, which is my Sacramento sister, was like, you know, um, 
I love that you're so open with your daughter's journey, like her spiritual journey. I never once shut down my kid when she would tell me things. I was scared once upon a time. Um, but I I don't want her to be like, you know, that's how people get to have um, addictions later on in life yeah. and different things like that because they don't want, they're self-medicating, you yeah. know? They don't want to deal with it no more. So I love, you know. You know what we call that? Mm. Good parenting. Yeah. Yeah. Because, babe. <laughs> Real quick, I did want to say something. Mm -hmm. um, two things, actually. Mm -hmm. The first thing, Brie X, I was listening to it on the way over here. Mm -hmm. um, I know she's in SAC. Mm -hmm. And if you guys remember from, I believe, two call-in shows ago, the young mm -hmm. lady that was in Sacramento who uh, was also gifted, mm -hmm. and she was looking for assistance with a kid. And she remember she uh, her daughter was, was yes. taken away and and she was looking for assistance so maybe they could link up. I can't mm -hmm. remember the, the the young lady's name, but I remember she had a a, a, a black power fist. In. Oh, um, she yes, she actually emailed me. Yeah, and I think it was something. Um, which I don't want to give her email away, but I know who you're talking right, but about. Maybe her and Brie X could link yes, up. They're both yes. they're both in the same area. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? So yes. maybe they could link up. That would be amazing. Uh, the second thing I wanted to say is, uh, well, obviously, I, I'm coming late every week because I'm yeah. in my treatment. You know, if a lot of people don't know, I'm in end-stage renal failure. So I got to go to dialysis once mm -hmm. a week or every day a week. Um, but... My nursing staff, they are subscribed to both of you guys now. Aww. Um, so really quick, I told them that I would shout them out when we got on the show. Yeah, I wanted, to, sure. wanted shout to shout out to Aaron in Harlem, uh, my Filipino brothers. Ah. So uh, if you guys are watching, Salamat Po. I was about to say Salamat Po. Thank you what so much. Mean? Thank you. Like, thank oh, okay. you. It's and a respect. Po just like, sir. Gotcha. Yeah. sir. Yes. Yeah. Thank you so much. Gotcha. Uh, Shaitrell is saying goodnight, junkie. So good night, Shaitrell. Shaitrell's not going to sleep. <laughs> Shaitrell be on demon time. Nah, she might be. <laughs> Maybe George I should can... talk a little bit more. And she'll yeah, stay yeah, George, away. George, George, <laughs> we're losing her. Oh, oh. no. Oh, no. <laughs> Where do you think you're going? I'm going to be quite honest with you. You need to free up your plans for the next hour because we're still taking calls, Shaitrell. <laughs> no, she says she has a competition. Her boys have a competition. Yeah. I love you down, sis. Um, I emailed you, and I don't know if you emailed me back. I have thousands. I get a couple hundred emails a day. So if you got lost, I'm going to look in there. Yeah, we need Shia to re respond to that text message next time. Not, no, well, <laughs> she, I had the wrong number. It was, so. a, it was a typo. Yeah. yeah. But I did email. She emailed me, and I emailed And Shia, one more thing. I just want to let you know. That uh, Miss Noah, she actually made me pay for your reading. Uh -huh. So I'm gonna need you. I'm gonna need you to take advantage because I had to pull cold hard. Earth. Yeah, I said. I was like, "Babe, you really gonna make me pay?" She Absolutely. said, "Yeah, yeah." Spiritual currency ain't free. Period. So I had to pay for that. <laughs> yep. So reparations. <laughs> yes, I need my reparations. But we're gonna. I'm gonna get with her. I know. I emailed her yesterday and asked her. You know what we wanted to read on. And if you guys don't have any idea what we're talking about. Uh, what was that? Last week, Mr. Yeah. Fresh gifted Shytrell a um, a free reading. Yes. So, or he wasn't free to him. I made him pay. <laughs> but you never know what's going to happen. You like to spice things It was up. free to her. But yeah. uh, another thing, guys, I'm about to post the link again in the chat. You know, mm -hmm. the merch is 15% off because it's day one. You guys, one. you guys will possibly get the merch before we get the merch. <laughs> yeah, so. actually, I, I think we should order a batch tonight before yeah. we leave. We, like, yeah. I think we should order because uh, yeah. we can get it. We can get a little, little little discount. It's necessary because at the end of the day, we don't want them to have our march on and we don't even have our march Correct. on. Correct. Like, yeah. that's crazy. Yes. And me and Austin, I know I've been telling y'all forever that I was coming out with merch or whatever the case yes, is. Yes. I For sure, we need to get that going this week. Yes, for sure. Because I'll be so busy, y'all. Yeah. I'm so sorry. Hey, hey we, we, we out here. We out here doing the thing. Yes. Yes. Um, We have... We have a lot, a of, lot callers, of callers, and I know we're it's running been, out of time yeah, here. We it's are. been steady. It's been steady tonight. I think our next lucky caller, 0702. Uh-oh. Shout out to Vegas. Shout out to Vegas. Yes. Hey, Vegas and 0702. <clears throat> I have been posting in the chats the link to that app. It's called Enigma.io, and that is the app for the mm -hmm. UFO sightings. And it's pretty well. I think they're pulling like a database, and it'll show Like mm -hmm. I saw one from like 1972. Yeah. Hello. 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 Hi, this is Stormy. Can Everybody can hear me, right? Yes. You sure can. Hi, Stormy. Hi. Okay, this story, I, I'm going to say it is. it falls under ancestors, okay? Mm-hmm. 
Um, and it's a lot of moving parts, but I'm going to try to condense it and, and get it out. I'm a little bit nervous for some reason. Don't be nervous because the when people that I... say they have, they're nervous, they have the best stories. Yep. You're fine. Take your time. Okay. So I started being visited by a spirit. I was maybe three, four, or five years old. Now, these visits happened across years. In the beginning, I did not know that it was a spirit, but the older I got, mm. I noticed her hair was always the same, and she was always wearing the same clothes. And when I would ask my parents about when is Miss Gwen coming back, they would look at me like I was crazy. <laughs> and when I realized that it was indeed a spirit, one, I was never afraid of her. I was mm -hmm. never afraid. She was always warm and encouraging. And my parents, when they were at the beginning of their divorce, she always encouraged me to write down my feelings, mm -hmm. write it down. She always encouraged me to write. And like I said, it's a lot of moving parts. Lots of things happen across the years. These visits never stopped. She stopped talking. But I always knew when she approved or disapproved of something, but she was no longer verbal. Right. But she would come and visit me. Now, fast forward, I'm grown with my own children doing my thing. I live on Bennett Avenue, and you will realize why that's important to the story in a minute. Okay. I'm living on Bennett Avenue. I'm still getting these sporadic visits. And I was watching a movie, and there was a poem. And I don't know if I can say this person's name. I'm just going to say, think Harlem Renaissance. Hating you will be a game played with cool hands. Mm -hmm. So I watched this movie. I go to our friend Google, and I look up that poem. Mm -hmm. And it shows the poem and a picture of the person, of the poet. Mm -hmm. It was none other. I don't know if I can say her name. I don't know but, how this works. No, you can go ahead. Go ahead. It was none other than Gwen Bennett. Mm -hmm. The spirit that had been uh, visiting me since I was mm -hmm. a child was Gwendolyn Bennett. Bennett mm. Avenue. And mm -hmm. I, I remember that day I screamed and right. I scared the hell out of my kids and my husband like, look, this is her. Because, of course, I told them the story, but they all think I'm crazy. Right. But I just, I have so many questions. And every so often, not, not very often anymore, I still see her or I feel her presence. Mm -hmm. But how did she find me all those years ago? That's I what I'm asking. I'm connected. like, are you guys related or anything? Have you done a DNA test? Like, a, um, you know, like a ancestry or even they have like an African version of ancestry. Have you done that before? I haven't. I would definitely um, look into, I'm trying to search it up so I can show Austin but I would definitely look into looking at the history of the house that you grew up in, looking definitely. at the census, mm -hmm. as well as um, getting an ancestry test if you feel comfortable. Some people they don't they don't fool with ancestry DNA because it collects their DNA. I took one, mm -hmm. and my my DNA is already in the system, so I'm not tripping over that. But <laughs> if you get it, you get it. But um, I would definitely take a test. See what kind of connection you have. She's not visiting you for no reason. Right. Right. And the thing, the craziest thing of it all is that that house, the, the, one of the last visits, I was, <laughs> that house was burned down. It, mm. it, the house on Bennett Avenue where I discovered who she was and that whole thing, that house was burned down. And one of her, the person who burned that house down was there one of the last times she visited me. And I knew she did not approve of that person. Mm -hmm. Are just, you are you from Philadelphia, have, or I'm from you, Michigan? Michigan, okay. I may be looking at I'm the from wrong Michigan, window. And I, the research that I have done on her, I cannot. I've not found the connection. Like, why me? That is my biggest question. How did she find me? Mm -hmm. Maybe the street was founded based off the last name. Possibly. Like There's that. some kind of tie. There is no way right. that it. You have to be either um, kin of some sort or something. There's no way that this this entity is just visiting you. You know. Um, let I me think see. We need to send her with some homework. And is uh, is this have, her? Have her <laughs> is this? Can you see my my screen? Is this her? I know it's a little delayed. Um, I'm not seeing it. On, I'm not seeing it yet. Yeah, give it about twenty yet. seconds. It should start yeah. populating. Because if this is if this is if this is her then um 
Oh my God, I'm sorry about my background. I got no, you're fine. Go ahead. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if it's caught up yet, but I'm just wondering: is that the Gwendolyn Bennett that you're talking about? Yes. Okay. Absolutely. Yes. <laughs> that's her. Yeah. Yeah. That's why I'm like, okay. Um, it's so crazy because she passed away in um, 1981. So mm. she was, a, and, and you said that whenever you were a little girl, you were seeing her, but she stopped mm -hmm. talking. Right. And <laughs> I don't know how old you are or how, what year this was. But she, it could have been because she was a new spirit and had a little bit more energy and, and all that other stuff. So, but that's an amazing story. Was, oh, go ahead. Yeah. I was able, um, she, like you said, new spirit. Yes. Because the, the time that the visit began, she would have just died. Yeah. Yeah. Looking at the that I was. And I think my time is up and I got to go get grandbabies. But the last thing I'm going to mm -hmm. say, I am a writer now. I am a okay, so, so you, I'm going to need you to get your ancestry DNA <laughs> test because um, certain things are hereditary. So, But okay. thank you so much. I'm okay. going to look well, into her. I've never heard of her. Okay. If you get any answers, I don't know how you could reach out to me, do a story about it. Shout yes, out. I definitely if got you. Thank you so and if much. If I get any answers, I will definitely email you. Please email you. me. Thank you yes. so much for listening to my story. All right. Thank okay, you. Okay. Thank you so much. Bye bye. That's amazing. I think Let's we go. have time for one more, George. One more caller. All righty. And uh, while we're waiting for that caller, um, people have been asking. Yes, we are still doing the 24 hour podcast, the Junkies 24 hour podcast. It is April 12th. We will be on doing this and possibly some tarot readings and some other interesting things from mm. 12 a.m. to 2 a.m. Saturday, uh, April 13th. So we'll be on the later half of that. But we're in the we're in the real cool kids hours. Yeah. If I'm being honest, like that's when it starts really getting it's good. The, yeah, it's the creep. Well, we're going to we're going to be in here at what? Three. What time is it again? 12 to 2 in the okay. morning is when we're on. But George okay. and I will be here starting at like 430 in the morning Friday. OK. And we ain't leaving. So like we we wrap up uh, here. I was asking because um you know three a.m. is the witching hour. Correct. So for In our East building, Coast fans, it'll be. Um, you uh, when are we gonna cleanse? Every week we go. I know, this. I know, I know. We need to. We need to just. I think we just he, need to set a Saturday he's and go. Capping, bro. Austin is comfortable being uncomfortable. Yeah. No. 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 Because <laughs> now it's messing. With, I told you somebody when I did your reading, I said somebody likes to play with the the electrical or like i think we said that was christian yes it was christian but i don't feel like this is necessarily christian i feel like a lot of our calls were going in and out there was a lot of crackling. there was a lot there of was crackling. a lot of um man should we do march 16th what the, the cleanse yeah because i want to film like us like sitting down with like seeing we can communicate not not with that. We ain't doing that. We'll do a spirit box. Hey, you spirit box. Okay. You, you, you on your face? own, brother. <laughs> I ain't messing with them damn Ouija boards. No, no, no. Definitely but not. I, I would box. like to keep that a prop still, sir. Right. Yeah, oh, no, absolutely. <laughs> no, 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 no. I ain't exam. using that. No, no, yeah. no, no. no. Uh, but, I mean, Saturday the 16th, I mean, I think we come in, we film it, and then we cleanse it. 316? I think that I think you're trying to set like a blasphemous appointment. What uh, what's the what's the <laughs> like like John 316 316 oh. Oh, yeah. Austin 316 <laughs> uh, Austin 3 <laughs> See you did it subconsciously. I didn't even think of that. No. You did it on purpose. Yep. Uh Austin 316 thou shalt cleanse your area yeah. of fulfillment for yes. social media and this <laughs> for financial against, uh monetary listen, compensation. Okay. All right. All right. Here we go. Here we go. If you want is, us to do this Put yes in the comments on both streams. Do you want us to film us? I wish I could you show them the backs. That shit is creepy. And, and then somebody's back there almost scared the crap out of oh, me. Trey. I'm, just like, <laughs> I'm like, why are you in the dark? Hey, we, hey, okay. Here's the thing. When we edit, sometimes we like to vibe back there. George will put on some music. We'll turn the mm -hmm. lights off. Yeah. Sometimes it's a rave back yeah. there. So, so you're going to turn the lights off in a haunted area. <laughs> we did it. We did it in October and it was, and it was great content. I was terrified. But it was you, great said it's a, you said it's a rave. So that means that you guys are taking uh, medicinal <laughs> and medicinal <laughs> drugs as well. Um, sometimes. See? Sometimes. I don't know. Me, I, does it sound like a vibe to me? me? No, he just asked, <laughs> do I want a microdose? <laughs> yeah, does it sound like a vibe to me? Now we know why George is... Uh, Astro projecting, guys. Look, <laughs> your comments are flooded with yes, 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 yes. They want it. They want us to do it. 
Miss Noah. Can you, okay, 316, that's fine, because I have um, other stuff. I, and I just remember. Because the ninth is, um, that's a, that's a I, I cannot get that day off. Okay. Oh, well, the, I can't either. That's, I didn't even realize that. Well, that's the Saturday. So that's, yeah. the ninth is a Saturday. But uh, Oh, yeah. But we can definitely do that. Um, and then I, this will teach everyone how to ghost hunt and get the ghost out. You know? Yes. And I think we should bring Brian Hopkins. I think he should join us because yep. he will also sage us as well on top of what you're doing. I, yeah. Can you do too much cleansing? Is that, is that yeah, a thing? No. You okay. Can never, um, sage cleanse is the good and bad energy. And if whenever you're dealing with something like this, you want to do that. But I use mainly cedar mugwort. Okay. You know, depending on what I'm trying to do. Cleanse your laptops and mics too. Yes. Please. Oh, okay. Please. I'm gonna I'm gonna dip this in bleach. No, oh, no. no. All right. <laughs> See, that's okay because I'm about to ask ancestors, spirit guys, to be like, boo, because you be playing. See, that's you ain't I, got scared Austin enough. Ain't got his ass whooped you yet. ain't got your ass whooped. I have got my. <laughs> that's what do you mean? It's 100 true. He ain't what never you got. Well, you never George been picked up. George watched me in... fucking almost piss myself. No, no, no. 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 Austin like, ain't getting no. that fight yet where he nope. punching in slow motion. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> Wait till you get in one of those fights. Yep. Well, you, okay. We're gonna come back from three sixteen, and it's just gonna be you three doing this show. I'm gonna be gone. We like so, so yeah. We cleared the bad energy. Unfortunately, Austin was Austin the bad energy. Bad energy. <laughs> oh my god! No, but I'm serious. And you know what? It's so funny because you talk about so many cryptid haunted things, but I can honestly say, until you get your ass whooped. I was talking about that that thing earlier, and I was like, I was so offended because how dare you try to like intimidate me and be over my face right. and I can't move. But imagine you're laying there and you're telepathically telling this entity, bring it, bitch, because I'm not scared of you. And then you go through your bed and you can feel all of this. And you're in another dimension. And you are literally fighting something that has transformed into a person with all black eyes trying to stick their tongue down your throat. That's what you need. <laughs> you need some <laughs> shit like that, okay? <laughs> because you think you think it's a game. I don't think it's a game. I'm, mm. Obviously, it's not a game. That's why we have this show. Everybody calls in and tells me mm. it's not a game. That's all right. No, we I gonna, appreciate it. This is the first time he's been called out on the show. I think I think that's <laughs> what we needed. No, I, he just needed. This is the first part of the cleanse, it. Austin. Yeah. That's the problem. Right. We need for Austin. <laughs> we need for Austin a FAFO. Yeah, that's exactly it's what we need to do. Time for FAFO, man. Yeah, fuck you gotta fuck around out. and find. <laughs> yep, I, we did though. Like I went into the house or oh, into the and saloon. The and I was saloon. Like, yeah, the saloon. And I was like, all right, no, show me. You, and they showed me. They the things we talk and you about. Still not scared though, because no, they only showed you like on a ghosts surface. Ghosts are level. not scary. I'm telling y'all. Ghosts are not the scary you need to meet part. One of them, one of them D words. No, nah, not even that. I ain't wishing that on. No, nah. he just needs to come face to face with something that is not as high vibrational. Something that probably or possibly has never been on this earth. Something that is just. Ugh. It's you gonna know? take for something to scare Austin. Maybe he should He's get a death by alien man. and get a renal scan or something. <laughs> 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 I don't think he's ever, and that's fine because a lot of people have it. Um, but it's okay. He's gonna have look. He's looking at me. He little. He's like, oh. yeah. You guys are like. You guys are like. <laughs> Cause listen, they're saying stop bullying George. They're bullying me. <laughs> they're bullying, bullying me. No, George. He's one of them too. He need his ass beat too. It's not. <laughs> but I admit it. But I admit it. Like a man, I want a ghost or. A he D said he wanted to, to be scared. I did. I did. did. I got scared. I got terrified. I legit got terrified. Like, yeah. I, there was a point where we need a scale where Travis was like, <laughs> was Travis was like, and I think jo or no Brian uh, was like, you need to go alone, and I was like, absolutely. And you not. hear in the video, you hear me go, oh, <laughs> oh shit, okay. Yeah. And so I, I was kind of alone. It was just me and just myself and Travis, but Travis was just there to document. Yeah. He wasn't yeah. going to back me up. He was <laughs> he not going to back me up. Me but you know, the like I said, ghosts in different entities. There's there's levels to this, you know. Um, even though whenever that stuff happened to me personally, this was like maybe eight months ago, nine months ago. Yep. I was just like, okay, that was kind of scary. But, you know, I, why could you just show me a ghost? That's what I said. I could have just did a ghost, you know, instead of getting choked out by something that was, you know, violent. But when I tell y'all, I be telling everybody on my videos, do good, be good, because the stuff that I be hearing and reading... You got to read. You know what? We got to 
We should do a video together. Not a live, a video. Yeah, no, no, no. Where we just, we go over. Yeah. It's 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 a lot, y'all. But I think you can handle it. That once does not make me feel good. <laughs> once, once you got, once you see one low vibrational spirit, you see them all. Yeah, we just need you to get your ass what one time. Just one time. Just as soon as the eight. Why are you talking to me like it's gonna smoke weed? Like just one time. Austin gonna get game, buddy. Right. Austin gonna get scared so much he's gonna come back speaking Spanish. He's gonna be like, oh, <laughs> right, oh, right, hey, chico. Bienvenidos a pensar. Me amo Austin. <laughs> oh my gosh. All right, let's get to, let's get to the last caller yes. of the night and let them tell me to and get my ass beat. <laughs> three eight zero zero three eight zero zero star six to unmute yourself bring i thought we were friends some heat no i think we did we made we, we made are serious friends. headway here. we want the best for you we're, we're friends with the caller too caller you're in the room <laughs> hi oh my god i actually made it live I hey babe y'all uh y'all uh replays because i always miss mm -hmm. it so i set my thing to catch it but i'm gonna tell y'all three quick stories one story, uh, I was five, and I was out in the ocean. We were at the uh, uh, thing for my, my sister's Girl Scout event, and one of the girls, we ended up way out there, and mm -hmm. I slipped and started drowning, and a male mermaid saved me. Oh. He took me back up. Yeah. Yay. Um, I'm glad he didn't yeah, take so, you, yeah. but I'm glad that yeah, we got a mermaid story this week. Go yeah. ahead, sis. Yeah. So, you know, that was, you know, that story. I remember like it was yesterday. That's why I won't go on the ocean no more. Mm -hmm. <laughs> the story is my grandmother had just transitioned and um, I'm laying in bed and my grandmother and my mom sound just alike. So I'm just in my mom calling my name and I answer ma'am twice. So the third time I'm like, okay, I'm going to get up and I'm going to go, you know, see what she wants. And when I get up. We have mirror. We had full mirror door sliding doors. Mm. It's an older house. Mm. And um, next thing I know is I get up and I turn and I see this really scary, scary dark creature with weird hands floating mm -hmm. literally up to me in the mirror. And it it has the same dress and phone tenant that my grandmother had on it. We buried her in, but I knew it wasn't my grandmother. It wasn't mm -mm. her energy, and I mm -mm. felt that it was something trying to do me yeah. to, in, uh, to enter into our world. And I screamed, and my mom ran in there so fast at the time she was heavy, and I ain't never seen my mom move that fast. <laughs> <laughs> she said she was gone. And, yeah, and I told her what happened. And she's like, oh, you trying to say, no, I was wide awake. I know what I saw because I've always seen things my whole life. Uh, so that was like, that was a scary one. Then my third and final story I'll tell real quick is uh, shortly after that happened, I've always felt like I never belonged here. And mm -hmm. I would cry myself to sleep as a child and be like, why y'all leave me? I don't want to be here. Come get me. Oh. And I was asleep. And a bright, bright light woke me up. I'm like, dang, you're trying to get up to school already? And it's being like being came in the room, you know, it was as often as, and it sat down on the bed and it talked to me. And I don't remember all the conversation, but it's like as I continue in my spiritual journey, um, things start coming back to me. And um, they spoke to me and mm -hmm. they had a whole conversation. They put me at ease while, uh, you know, like you have a job to do basically is what I remember. That's all I know is I have a job to do here. Mm -hmm. And um, you said, okay, now go back to sleep. And I went back to sleep. And the next thing I know, it was time for me to wake up. I've had lots of other, um, you know, paranormal things, you know, and my son, he also sees them too. So we always experience and stuff. And I just teach him not to be scared, like you say, and, yeah. you know, stand his ground. And if they're invading his space, tell them they got to go. So yep. you know how to say things in Palo Santo, I'm mm -hmm. sorry, stage in Palo Santo and all of that, but mm -hmm. I'm excited to be on this show. Thanks for taking my call. Absolutely. You have any questions and want to know a little you, more? Yeah, we, yeah. we got questions uh, before we let you go. Yeah. <laughs> I'm sorry. I, let you I, go. I, I got questions about this mermaid. <laughs> yes. I, I just want to yeah. know the, the man made. So, yeah. We, we see pictures online where they're like hideous creatures. Then we see that they can transform themselves to be uh, beautiful upon sight. Mm -hmm. What was your experience whenever that, you whenever you seen like did you know what it was did you you know I didn't know what it was then because I was like five six years old mm -hmm. but um, 
for, upon growing up and learning about mermaids and mermen and things, I don't know what the men are called, but I knew that's what it was. Because mm-hmm. honestly, it looked like me. I, I am indigenous American Indian or what you would call African American. Mm-hmm. And he looked like my family, dark, dark skin, you know, he has dark skin, mm-hmm. uh, long locks, and then he had the tail. So, Mm -hmm. you know, facial features wasn't scary. He didn't present himself to me in that manner. But, you know, I feel like I am supposed to be here because I have struggled with my gifts and had nobody to talk to. So I have, you know, tried to unalive myself a couple of times and it didn't work. So I know I'm here for a purpose. Yeah, And, um, you know, and I felt like, you know, my ancestors sent them to me because I also have this lady that I... Trail after travel to, um, that is underwater that I talk to telepathically, and she shows me things, teaches me things, and she's actually helped me with transmuting, um, mm-hmm. you know, negative energies and things that I've had, and heal them and like release them because I, you know, microdosed before and yes. I did a whole plant medicine thing. So yeah, so this lady, you know, rides on a chariot with seahorses pulling her, and I know uh-huh. it might sound crazy, but. I know what I saw and I know what I experienced. Yes, because the mermaids, uh, they're said to um, communicate telepathically. Like, they don't don't say nothing to you. Mm -hmm. And, um, okay, so what if, just what if, once upon a time, long ago that you probably don't even remember, you were either... Mermaid, yeah, part yeah. of their world, some way, somehow, because what we're in another them, life. Yeah, what would make them protect you I in another it. life? You know, um, things yeah, like I this be real. <laughs> yeah, I believe I was because I love the water. I always have. I want to live by the water. I always want to be by the water. Mm-hmm. The water calms me, and um, ground helps me ground as well. You know, it's thin, it's grounding and hugging trees. But I, it's like I have to be by water. So I yeah. feel like that. That I was in a previous life, and that's probably that's, why they didn't date yeah, me. That's deeper yeah. for sure. Yeah. That's deeper for sure. That's somebody, dope. somebody in the ocean is watching after you because they had a connection with you. Yeah, for sure. Yeah, yeah. And then you know, mermaids back in the there's said not even back in the day, but mermen and and human women and vice versa, they have mer children, and some they said some of them are still under the water, and then some of them have come up and they just have babies. It's like, so think of it like this. Yeah. So if a black and a white person has a baby, right, you know that baby is going to be mm-hmm. interracial. And then that baby mm-hmm. goes on to have a baby with a black person. That baby is also a little bit interracial, but we, we are saying it's black, right? Right. And it just continues mm-hmm. to have a baby with another black person and another black person, right? So eventually you're going to be human with mermaid. DNA, right? Like it's embe- it's embedded gonna, in your DNA, right, but you're it may be like a like, yes. like when you take those tests and it's like, oh, I'm two percent Hispanic. Like me, I'm I'm two percent Southern yeah. Southern Indian. Yeah, I don't understand mm-hmm. why. Right, so <laughs> it's literally I mean, it's like that. So <laughs> right, that period. So it's like if if we're using the example I use, you are going, you can have a baby with. A black person, and then that baby has a baby with a black person. Yeah. But there's always going to be that little bit of 2% of Irish in there somewhere or Northern (laughs) European, you know? So it could be one of those because mermaids is wild. They are miscreants. They was having human baby, mermaid babies. Like, it's it's crazy. Mm -hmm. So... Yeah, yeah. You, you should. We should really do something yeah, with so mermaids. Probably, mermaids yeah. are amazing. Obviously, you're not going to be able to take a test to see that you're fifteen uh, percent. No, aqu- aquatic is mer- not going to come up in your DNA. <laughs> <Aquatic. okay? laughs> uh, Pacific Ocean, <laughs> right? Pacific Ocean, Caribbean. You know, but it just comes <laughs> down to there is a connection there. Mermaids do not um, rescue people; they kidnap them. Yeah, for sure. They just yeah. do. Throwing hands yeah. with them too. Bring yeah. it back forty years later. <laughs> oh, you're you're gonna lose if you yeah, I'm gonna get dragged under to like depths. You'll of definitely never... be a slave. They'd be like, go get more people. <laughs> they said, actually, actually, we need you to start the Mer podcast. Can you help us right? out? There? Yeah, like we didn't want anything with you. We just really wanted a podcast. Right, we here. only got scones and cheese shells. We really don't have microphones. <laughs> now make it work. <laughs> but thank you so much to our last call of the night. Thank you, thank you so much. Thank you. I'm... Oh, oh, our bad. Yeah, you George. know. So- He's you know, an ass hat. George, George is finger tr- finger happy. Right. Too much caffeine back here. I'm fired up. No, I need some, but um, 
that was you good know? insight on that last yeah. call, yeah. especially yeah. especially what you said, like uh, when it comes down to the DNA ties and stuff yeah. like that. Like people don't they don't think that they're more than one thing, or yeah. people don't realize that they're they're called to certain things. They may be called to a certain spiritual uh, religion or representation, yeah. be, and they don't understand why because they can't see it. Mm -hmm. Like I know me and Noah, we're both Irish. Yeah. But obviously, you wouldn't look at us and be like, "Yeah, they're definitely Irish." Like, no, I didn't. No, <laughs> there's no way you could look at me and be like, "He's definitely yeah. black, German, Irish, and Dutch." Yeah, that's exactly what. No, I'm just yeah. <laughs> that's exactly so, what I was thinking. Yeah, when I got my DNA test results, I was like, "What the fuck?" <laughs> Wait a minute. No, because like, hold up. A lot of things made sense, right? Because yeah. I was just like, "Oh, all right, well." Um, I've been pulled to this spiritual path, right? right? I have been studying African traditional religions such as Ifa, Santeria, um, but no, all what of, country you're from? I'm in like, Africa, I don't like, know, right? You know. So then I get my DNA results, and I'm like Nigerian. Um, mm -hmm. I have some Congo roots. I have all of these really powerful, like spiritual things going on in my DNA. And then it says fucking Northern European. I'm 30% white. And I was like, where did that come from? Scandinavian. <laughs> like, I'm Viking. so confused. And I was just like, you know what? It's all right, you know? But I had been dreaming or when I was having sleep paralysis and a man with an Irish or like Scottish accent was talking to me. And now I'm just assuming it was an ancestor back then. I'm like... Harper, who this white man? Because this is not nobody mm -hmm. that is black. That was, that was I want to say, our daughter. No, no. She, this our, was like in 2019 or something. Yeah, I was going to say our daughter was younger, though. Yeah. It, like, I don't think you knew that you had uh, mm -mm. that you had Ireland ties at that point. No. I knew I, I had know. them, but I don't think you knew. No, because, uh, you know, I got daddy issues. So <laughs> I didn't know who. I'm like, whatever. Yeah, I got low vibrational issues. <laughs> you clearly have some type of issues. Also, we haven't pinpointed it, but uh, I can tell you. Maybe off. Maybe off I just want to tell it's... anybody who's under the age of 18, say no to drugs. I know Austin is trying to persuade no, uh, people to no, micro I'm not. They listen. Them little motherfuckers are not supposed to be in here. This is 18 and yes, over. This okay, is an 18 and up stream. Yeah, you heard that, Max. <laughs> Oh no! Wait, <laughs> no! I think she ditched us tonight because I gave her the prime no, video. No, she was. Oh. She's definitely in here. Because when I walked in the room, she said, "She said, hey, Mister Fresh." I just didn't respond. <laughs> but I see you, boo. Yes. Well, so. what another great stream. Yes. Um, please go check out the merch store. I'm. Uh, I'm gonna post yes, the link again. Please. Yeah, we made it. Um, it's gonna support the show. It'll help George save up for that. What are you saving up for again? George? Toaster. Brand new toaster. Brand, Brand new toaster. toaster. It can help for that. You're saving up for a wet. Dry mop. mop, yeah. I'm saving up for um, a working next car. Next Tuesday. Remember you said I'm only saving for next Tuesday. Oh, yeah, for Tuesday. I'm saving for Tuesday, okay? Yes. I'm saving up for something, too. What you saving up for? I'm saving up because uh, I'm taking this beautiful lady to three different countries. Sheesh. Uh, in May. So... You That'd know, be fun. And then we're going to spin a block and go to Mexico in, in June. So Yeah, Austin, you're going to fucking kill me. I'm sorry. <laughs> sorry, about, sorry in advance, guys. Uh, so, did you see what person said in our chat? No. I I think it's a great idea that we should explore. He was saying um, that, That's something that I already have in the works because, okay. and I wanted to bring it to you, mm -hmm. Um, there are, I wanted to do a podcast or a show where... Um, you guys send me, I've been requesting you guys to send me stories and you guys have been and where we read those said stories. So, um, person was, he, they, well, I don't know, person, this person. That, that literally person is the name. So hit we're the not... nail on the head. So that is something that I wanted to explore, but I want to talk to Austin first because we obviously have the call-in show yeah. and I didn't want to step on your toes. Well, maybe one yeah. week we could do it without the actual call-in. Or, yeah, or maybe we could well, do, we like could like do the it live 30 still. minutes. Email. Or first, yeah. first, maybe first hour of just reading them and then we'll, yeah. we'll take calls. Yeah, that'll yeah. be dope. Yeah, absolutely. Maybe get people's feedback yeah. on the actual. Yeah. On, on I, the emails. It's an it's a YouTube premiere, for sure. Yeah. Pre a YouTube, pre yeah, yeah, we'll pre-record pre and then we'll, we'll do a YouTube pre uh, premiere on it. And Absolutely. then that way you guys can crush the chat. Yeah. Yeah, sure. we can just hang out. We can literally, you just come here. Yeah. <laughs> We're premiering, we'll just sit right here and just, <laughs> yeah. and just write it well, up. Said, hey, when we do it, can we have a pajama party? Everybody Ooh, like wear pajamas. Like a scary story. Mr. Fresh with all the good ideas. Yeah, Mr. Hey, Fresh, my listen, goodness. Pajama party is a premiere. Like, we, well, we I mean, come, the, premiere is, the premiere is, is they won't see us. No, it's a video. Yeah, it's, a video. it's a video. It's premiering, so it, it oh, goes okay. live. No, but for, live. for the 24-hour podcast, I do recommend you guys come in your pajama jams. 
Um, just because it is going to be in the dead of the middle of the night. Get yeah. your snacks. Set They're, your alarms. Well, they they should come in their pajamas. Obviously, Austin can't because he's going to be here for 24 hours. Oh, so, yeah. George, too. George, we both uh, have to pull. There's going to be plenty of outfit changes. I'm actually right. planning 15 outfits yeah. over 15. the 24 hours. Over yeah, 24 hours. I can see that. that Maybe I should, too. Because I, I have to host twice, and yeah. George has to be on mm-hmm. multiple times. I have to host content junkies for an hour or two, and then bizarre junkies for... Yeah. Three to four hours. So when he says 15 outfit changes, just know he's going to have on the same black pants throughout all 15 <laughs> outfits. <laughs> he's going to have a suit jacket on, <laughs> uh, a football jersey on one. Boom. Listen, Baseball. black pants yeah. stay the same. Yeah. So while, while we're getting ready to wrap up, George, are, do you think we can show that uh – Yes. That real? All the people that are still here, I cannot see the live um, you, data. Everybody's still there. Okay. Well, we just wanted to remind you to please go follow me on Instagram yes. and follow um, Austin, George. I don't know if Mr. Fresh, he just kind of fell into our show and he's just like our I wouldn't our say fell. He knows what he's he, doing. He no, was like, literally, I never thought he would get on this microphone and say yeah. anything. Oh, people, <laughs> people are asking. The 24-hour live stream is the Junkies 24-hour live stream. It is April 12th. It starts at 5 a.m. April 12th. Yeah. And it's 5 a.m. April 13th. Oh, yeah. And that's uh, Pacific Standard yeah, Time. Yeah, Pacific Standard Time. 5 a.m. Yep. Pacific Standard Time. So, I mean, for you guys, it's yeah, in the so, morning. Yep. So, I don't know if you want to put your Instagram up or put it in the chat. More than welcome to. I never get on Instagram. I need y'all to hold me accountable. Go follow me over there. Facebook, yes. um, Bizarre Junkie, all of that. Please follow. If you're not following my yes. my people, go follow. Let's and build, check out the merch store. We yeah. have 300 and, uh, and one people in here. So yeah. let's build the following up. Yep. Uh, I think I'm Manny Fresh 412 or something crazy. I don't know. Yeah, probably. <laughs> some, <laughs> we'll some, Manny Fresh. You see, we, I don't fresh. get on Instagram. He does sometimes. We're YouTubers. And together, yeah, I yeah. feel that. I feel that. So well, go ahead. Let's get this. If you want to do Instagram right to close off the night, ladies and gentlemen, mm-hmm. here is what a leap year actually is. Okay. It's a leap year. February 29th, 2024. A day that only exists once every four years. If that means that February 29th only happens every four years, isn't it really 506 AD? Today, let me do the math for you. We are in 2024. If I divide that by four, 506. What did the world look like in 506 AD? This is the map of what we are currently experiencing at this moment. It may not seem like it. It may seem like the world is completely the same, but we are actually in this map. I'm going to go one step further for you. If you ever have dreams this year about 35 bishops of the Visigolic Gaul meeting in the Council of Agade, shedding light on moral conditions of the clergy in Latin <coughs> in southern France, don't be confused because it's actually 506 AD. Caller, you're on the air. Threatened, I felt unwelcome, and it was a death. And so then I went to my pastor, and I was like, "What's going on?" He's like, "Oh, you know." But I do have something that's just both. So I've always had a lot of things happen to me all my life. So I'm gonna.